Good evening, everybody. What's going on? How you doing? Let's see who we got in here. We got Robert James fishing with Robbie. What's up, Robbie? How you doing? Mr. Marilla, what's going on, Mike? Jeff Baker, Jason Lamb, Freddy's Outdoor Adventures, Sampy's in the house, Gene Tillman. Cool. Nine people in here already. Bert's out. Bert's fishing and outdoors. Lance, the Hawaiian fisherman. And Miss Betty Cross. I started a couple minutes early because I'm getting ready to throw out my last bait. This is the bait of choice today. We got some small bullheads, but they're lively. So I'm kind of excited. So hopefully we'll, we'll get on them tonight. I don't know. We'll see. I'm fishing a ledge here uh, with some mud. Not mud, uh, some wood off to the uh, port side. And we'll see what happens. Let me get this one cast out so I can turn off the light on the back. Skeletor, what's up? Hey, Ryan, what's going on? All right, we got we got all the rods out there. We're good. Let me turn off this backlight here so people don't get mad. It's shining right at the house. Thanks, Freddie. It's going to be a long night. We're going to see what we can do. I got the lights, the tips on the lights on three of the rods. So uh, one of them, my battery died. I think it was just a bad battery to start with. So hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I'm going to be listening and talking to you guys while I'm doing this. So it's going to be kind of hard. You'll see me looking back quite a bit. We're anchored up in about three and a half feet of water. I threw back and uh, anywhere it goes from two and a half feet all the way to six feet off the ledge. So I'm kind of covering the wood on this side and then going down the ledge. Got a bullhead, bullhead, bluegill, bullhead. So uh, we good. There he is, what's going on, Lyle? Hooked up, how you doing? Jeremy, Creole catfishing, what's up, Jeremy? Eric, what's up, bud? Uh, Betty, Lyle, Eric, Painting Services by Steve. What's up, Steve? Good evening, everybody. Dan Thompson. Right on. I think I'm caught up. Freddie, hello. So let's see. You guys get to look at my evil red face again tonight. I'm out here solo. I want to go fish. It's been uh, since last week since Ohio. I needed to get out here. really want to put a flathead in a boat. I haven't had too much opportunity to get out as much as I'd like, I should say. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Justin, what's going on? Uh, 29 people in chat. Awesome. Dale Hayslip, what's up? Eric Burnside, how you doing, bud? Glad you're uh, back in the chats and stuff. I waited a little longer for a couple of reasons before I started the night before I even got out here. Wow, is it dark out here? Um, Avid show, obviously. That was a cool show. I caught some of it while I was setting up. Uh, also, last time we were out here, uh, we started a little early, and you guys saw how how rocky and how bad it was. The fishing was it was horrible. It was it was bad. Um, it's not that we have more boat traffic than a lot of other places. Uh, it's just it's a lot narrower of a river than most places, so. It, those waves really roll back and forth. So when we were done, we got three takedowns that day, um, which is, it's probably normal. I don't know why they didn't hook up. Hopefully we'll hook up today. Kind of switched out the hooks and the sizes and stuff to try and adapt to it. But when we were leaving, we were exhausted. And when we were leaving, we could tell they were, they were coming alive. So I'm thinking it might be a later bite. Also this cold weather that came through. I mean, right now it's... Water temp 77 degrees, and the temperature outside, I think, is like 61, 62. I'd have to double check. Don't quote me on that. Hey, Bax, what's going on? Uh, yeah, it is hard not to call Jeremy Finn whenever I see him. Those little bullheads, I didn't catch them. They were gifted to me by a friend of mine. 
he even swung by and hand delivered them. Yeah, you know, I've had such a hard time with bullheads this year that I'll take what I can get. We'll give them a shot, you know. The, the, the big ones will eat the little ones, and the little ones will eat the little ones, so we'll be all right. Chrissy Brown, what's up, dear? How are you? Avid, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Thanks for sending everybody over after the show. We got 45 people in chat. Um, I, I'm guessing he just does, those bullheads are animals. What's up, Kenneth? How you doing? They'll eat anything. Chunky, what's going on? Austin, how you doing, bud? Those bullheads are animals. I'll eat a pretty most catfish will they'll eat bait bigger than you'd think they would so hey jose there he was that was a good guy jose rafino he uh donated the 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 bullheads today but there are some you were right jose there's some small ones in there it's chilly though oh i'll be one of my lights came back to life i don't know why that happened we'll get that one back on when we recast it though so hopefully you guys can see, I can see the rod tips all right. With this light on here, this makes it kind of rough. So, well, you guys can see me, the reflection in the in the phone. But with these boats coming by, I like having these internal lights. See, they're still boats head to home. They're not necessarily even fishing boats. People heading home from the restaurants and stuff. Oh, that's a big one. Uh, yeah, I'd point the camera the way to what people see it. That's a... Like a little houseboat coming by. Jay Fox Hunter, what's up? I did say hello to Jose. Hmm. Cody, what's up? David Martin, how you doing, bud? Gene, here we go. Here comes the rocket. <laughs> I forgot to do what? So what do you guys feel about getting a net ready? Is that bad luck? Or is that something you should be doing? Got that ready so I can reach it. I like to have everything ready when I'm fishing solo. In a, fall, in a small fish trap. I don't know if fish traps are even legal here in Illinois. Uh, maybe for rough fish, I don't see why they wouldn't, but you'd, I would have to check. Um, I've never had money, much luck with uh, uh, much luck with traps. Jesse Lopez, what's going on? Small town catfisher, how you doing, bud? No traps. Ryan says no traps. I believe him. We used to try them in Indiana back in the day. Like I said, I didn't have much luck with them. So. Mud Tramp, what's up? How are you doing, dear? I got to get in the habit of highlighting people's chats. Flathead, flathead, it's your night. Flathead, flathead, time to fight. Mr. Mark's not here to play. <laughs> Let's get this flathead night underway. It's awesome. I'm telling you, write all them down. Put them in a book or online somewhere, Becca. <laughs> the cloverleaf traps. Hey, Bex, thank you very much. See, what does that say? Zoom by real quick. Let's get this sprinkle train going. All right, small town cafeteria. Good luck with making that video tomorrow. The videos are rough. We got 57 people in chat. That's cool. Let's hope I don't let you all down. Keep you guys entertained. It was easier when Bob was here with me. Creole catfishing. Look at that. Thank you, sir. Oh, I heard something. All right, so I was thinking, folks, I have like two mounts for this for my cameras in my boat. I have one that mounts where this one is at right now. I got a separate clamp for uh, my phone um, on the camera mount, but I can move this from the front to the back of the boat. If I had it on the back of the boat, I could keep my eyes on the line and talk to you guys and not keep turning away, making my voice sound funny. Chunky Cats, thank you, sir. Chunky the man, what's up? Um... 
But I know you guys like to see the rod tips, if anything, so I'm trying to make it so you can. It's kind of hard, but we'll do what we can. JP3 in outdoors, what's up? I have not fished this spot yet, but I kind of rolled over it with the sonar. It's got everything I'm looking for. It's actually, it's about 100 yards from where I've caught flathead before. I always wanted to fish this spot, so I figured this would be a good spot to start and work my way back to this boat ramp that I launched at, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out when you're solo. So that's kind of the plan. I think I might have three moves before that, but we're going to be in this for a long time. Sunfish Assassin, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so kind, man. The catfish family is crazy. You guys are out of this world. I have to say, Whisker Pig Fishing, I like that name. Has life, has. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I never know what to say. Am I supposed to say boom? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a boom kind of guy. Maybe I'm too old. Maybe I'm too crabby. Who the heck knows? Mm. A painting services by Steve. Thanks, bud. Here, fishy, fishy is right. Jason Lamb, what's up, buddy? I did say hello to you, didn't I, JP3? If not, I'm saying hello again. Aaron Cantley. Cantley, what's up, Aaron? How you doing, bud? Yeah, we got some new names in here. If you're new, uh, uh, if you're new to to my channel i'd love it if you subscribed um hit the thumbs up on this all that youtuber stuff i would be very grateful so it's going to be a waiting game tonight i'm bait rich so we'll stay until i can't take the into well that that's the problem when i'm out here fishing i'll stay until i can't fish anymore the problem is you still got to put the boat up on the trailer and, and get it home and i'm sure all you anglers out there know what i'm talking about so we're going to try and time it right I am going to reel in this uh, one rod here. Dan Thompson, thank you, sir. Thank you for all the good luck. You guys are you guys are crazy. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Uh, Josh Bone Peaches. I'll make sure I don't miss anybody. 61 in chat. That's right, Bex. Dan the man. I caught, like I said, I caught some of Abbott show. I didn't get on a um, Kevin show. I apologize. I'll have to watch the replay. I usually try to at least. And, uh, um, I was en route to get here, so I apologize for that. It's not that far from the house. I don't know. It's about 25 minutes from my house. We've got to get gas, put the boat up, do all that stuff. So I wanted to time it right. And after last night's impromptu live stream, I wanted to get some sleep today, which was actually kind of harder than I thought. Uh, Ryan, over at Sent Hooks and Cross Eyes says, when I'm fishing for bullhead, I give them about five minutes, no longer. Uh, but when you find them, it should be no longer than a minute of bite. The bite turns on when the sun starts going down. Ryan, my bullhead spot is so overgrown, I can't even get happy. Thank you, sir. I can't even get a bait below the surface. It's that thick from the water being low and it being so dry. But, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. Texas Tiger, what's going on? Pappy, you're the bomb. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, you are Dan the man. <laughs> Unless you want me to call you something else, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Lance. I appreciate it. Anybody who shares it is, is awesome. It's always good to have the support get people on here. I really do like to see if we can get them stacked up in here. But, you know, if you guys want to hang out, it's going to be a long, slow night. Uncle Josh, One Ton Fishing Club. What's up, buddy? It's going to be a long night. It usually is when I'm flathead fishing, which is where I really kind of take into uh, uh, to dragon baits, especially for channel cats. Every now and then I'll pick up uh, a flathead, but 
you know, it, there's a little more action. You're going, you're moving, you're covering ground, you're learning stuff. Crazy sis backs. We'll have a bunch of sis. We got Betty is my dear sister from another mother. Got to add that to your name. Dale, what's up? Jay Fox, I'm just small talk. Catfish Peppy, JP3. Uh, Randall Rhino Outdoors. Be back. Switching over to your phone. All right, Chrissy. I'll be here. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how long to give this spot. Because a lot of times you need to fish one spot all night in order to find that fish. Moving from spot to spot, sometimes you're chasing ghosts. At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, look at this. We got this second one. That's a little number three. We'll call that one number three. That 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 was something. That bullhead ain't big enough to move that rod like that. Let's see what happens. Unless something can always bump the line. I did catch it out of the corner of my eye. Oh, who is that? What did I miss here? Texas Tiger, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Sorry I missed that right away. Boom, all that good stuff. I'm no good at booming, so... Sorry, folks, but I am eternally grateful. Super grateful. So you guys want to see these little lights that uh, Brandon over at Catfish and Dreams gave me? Check them out. They hold a little, what is it, a 2032 battery? Just in the end. I just duct tape, or not duct tape, my electrical tape them to run. They, they work pretty good. Let's see if you can see them better with the lights. They're pretty bright. Oh, it's green now. Wait, it was just, it looked orange because of the light, but this one's green. Oh, see, it just turned off. This battery's dying. Oh, and it's changing colors on me. Well, that's odd. Now it's green again. Green, orange, maybe as the power dies on the battery, so I won't bother with that one. Anglers fishing and outdoors adventures. I agree, that is pretty cool stuff. So normally, if I'm not, which is most of the time, if I'm out here fishing, I'm not live streaming. I'm not live streaming. I'm a uh, kind of dozing. Sometimes I'll set the bait clicker. Sometimes I won't. We'll see how long I can keep yapping for. I learned from the best. We got a bunch of the people out there in chat that really know how to chat it up. It's going to help bring me out of my shell. Now if we can get on the fish. I'm going to check my lines. I'll be right back, folks.
Turn like this. Turn a little left, okay? Left. You don't need that. Consequences. Turn your All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Wanted to get that one on the outside out onto the channel a little more. Sorry, I got my bases covered all the way across. Let's see what I missed. Big Slim, what's up, buddy? Let's see who I missed. I see Cody's in there, big time. There we go. Real Gales Fish, I agree. Thank you very much. Only know four, huh? I know uh, our buddy Brandon, he got those two little ones, right? We'll see. It's cold weather. It'll mess them up. I forgot to get out and try while the getting was good. I felt like going fishing, so we'll try. I haven't been hearing any tail slaps, so it's not a good sign. It's still early, though. If I don't get any action by, like, I don't know, midnight, two in the morning, midnight, one in the morning, then I'll call it. But if, if I'm hearing them, and you guys know you can hear them. You can definitely tell the difference. All right, cool. KY Redneck Outdoors. I'll, uh, I'm sure someone will prove it, one of the mods, if they're up and around. That group's kind of a long story. There isn't too much action there. People don't really send a, uh Facebook doesn't send many members. I don't think the members are seeing any of the posts either, but that's that's story for another one. Uh -oh. If D's out there want to say hello to D, I want to make sure I don't miss her. If uh, see, I'm hearing something over there. Could be a raccoon. It's hard to see with this red light on. Let's see if my eyes will adjust. I don't think that's what I think. It is. All right, got lost up. Getting skunked will happen. Yeah, it's been a rough weekend. I don't know how your, the weather's at where you guys are at, but it got chilly here. I mean, it's August 1st, right? And it's 60 degrees. It's something, right? Hi, real time. What's going on, bud? How you doing, John? Big Slim, Texas Tiger J Slam. Polar, polar Bear was out fishing today. Maybe the guys in this chat can help. Polar Bear is looking for a catfish rod with a shorter handle. Uh, he needs one to help him cast. I won't get into details. But if you guys know of any rod um, that's specifically built for catfish with a short butt handle, I'm sure he would appreciate you speaking up in chat. Um, I told him to get himself a, uh, a, like a good quality bass rod that'll help because he's doing a lot of pond fishing and stuff. There's no reason why that wouldn't be able to handle some channel cats up to uh, 10 plus pounds easy. Let's see what's coming by here. Make sure they can see me. boat going home or they're going to the bar. We use some circle hooks today, so hopefully if I miss a bite, it'll get on them. Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> Had 70 people in chat. That's pretty cool. If I miss a bite, the circle hook will get them. Uncle Josh says, okay, okay, Mark, dude, it's been a long weekend, and I'm tired. All right, have a good one. It's Sunday. Robert, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Thanks, man. I hear it's been hard out here on the Fox. If anybody know you know, Robert. I got the bait. I'm in a good place. I'm in a uh, – if, if they're here, we'll get on them. If not, 
lesson learned. Give the week uh, some time to give them time to adjust to the weather. I guess I don't know. I have no clue what what this cool weather is going to do to these fish. None whatsoever. I haven't experienced this since I started fishing for flathead. Uh, usually, this is like fall weather. I mean, I got a hoodie on. August 1st, I'm wearing a hoodie. That's insane. Paul, how you doing? I am fixing uh, fishing on the Fox River in uh, northern Illinois. McHenry County to be kind of a little bit close. Actually, I'm not in McHenry. I think that's Lake County. Kind of crosses over a couple of counties. Creole says, my Shakespeare wildcat rod has a much shorter handle. Hey, Jesse, what's going on, Jesse? How you doing? Be careful driving to work. Holy smoke, 78 people watching me fish. Pressure is on. Fish Snatcher, what's up, buddy? Fish Snatcher said downtime. I had to look back, see if I was missing something. <laughs> I got the Uncle Lou's on this side. It's that dark. You can't see those bright rods of his out here. They might reflect the camera if I point it towards there. You can see the two little light tips on them, but it is dark. And those rods are bright. There we go. I do not fish the Banner March. Banner Marsh. Actually, I don't know where the Banner March is. Is that the one across from the uh, the boat ramp? Is that what that's called? I don't know if there's a name, but I know a couple of marshes over here. But he says, we had hoodies on today. Weather is nuts, even in the great state of Ohio. What lakes do I fish? I don't fish too many lakes, to be honest. Kind of like the river. I'll fish uh, like the local municipality lake. I'll get up on the chain every now and then. I'll fish channel uh, lake for uh, crappie, which is pretty good. I want to get out with Ryan and Robert on maybe Fox Lake one of these days, that would be cool. Not that I'm asking or anything for them to take me, but I think that'd be cool to have to go out there with them. I, 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 to be honest with you folks, I wouldn't know where to start looking for flathead on a, on a lake. I guess look for structure, look for drops, same things I look for river, but I don't know. I got that river mindset where, you know, moving current moves fish. Robert James, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Fishing Local 336, what's up, buddy? Man, thank you guys for coming in here. 81 awesome people in chat. That's fantastic. All right, Lyle. Give her a little pat on the head for me. Lyle has an awesome dog named Gidget. Very good pup. You mean the lake, the fox? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I kind of thought about that. I haven't really sat down and looked at the map uh, for that lake, but that's probably where I would gravitate to is the actual river channel because the rivers do come through all of them. Hi, Laura. Yeah, you can. You can. It'll undo it, though. <laughs> Yeah, but these are these are little little bullheads. Jose does really good with them though. So we'll see. I got some medium sized uh bluegill. We'll use those last. I want to have at least one out. I got him like right on the ledge. Ryan B, what's going on, buddy? Cool, I appreciate it, man. Uh, views are awesome. Hopefully, I can keep you uh, keep you guys entertained. Uh, when are you going to show me some good spots to fish uh, to fish with me? Sometimes, Mark, uh, we could probably be able to work something out. 
well, I can point you in the right direction. You can always do that. I can definitely tell you where you should be looking. Betty says lakes equal channels equal fish. Highway. She loves lakes. I don't know. I got that that log pile mentality though. You know? I, I just do. I look for any kind of current in, in a lake. If it's a reservoir or if the river channel goes through it. For the only reason when I'm fishing for even channel cats to just carry that scent out. Get it moving along. Stan, did you give me a you did. Hold on. Thank you, Stan. I missed it. Must have totally zoned by. There he is, Stan. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, bud. Man, if you guys could hear inside my head right now, I'm going, come on, come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Like, nonstop. I get that way. Try to will it to happen. In. Epic. What's going on, Tim? How you doing, buddy? Oh, we're out here slow night. I just got some information that uh, no one's really doing well out here this weekend. So we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. I'm sure the cold weather has something to do with it. I mean, August 1st, like I said, I'm, 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 in, a, I'm in a hoodie. <laughs> it's quiet, at least. The boat traffic's gone for the most part. We'll get one or two every now and then coming home from the bar. But I'm, out, I'm outside of the traffic lane pretty good, so I should be all right. Going over to Clint. Hey, you know what I wanted to talk to you about, Ryan, is going over to uh, um, LaSalle, maybe, drag some baits over there. Wait, is there another one? Did I miss another one? I'm, like, getting lost here in all these chats. I see one. Is that you, Fish Snatcher? My goodness, I'm terrible at this. There he is. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Really, really do. I was watching a stream over on Brian B's channel last night. They were chatting it up pretty good. Kevin was on there. Snatcher was on there. Brian was on there. Haz was on there. Stan was on there. And uh, Becca was on there. Becca even joined me. She messaged me, hey, thought you were bored. And that's how come I started that up late last night. You know, I thought I was going to be tired tonight, but I'm kind of wired now. We'll see how fast I die. Danny missed two good ones. That'll happen. I was talking to my sis in the room, my sister in the room, and she said she lost a good one today. Broke my heart. I'm sure it broke hers. Just as the same. Good. I hope you, you kill him, Ryan. I hope you get out there and destroy him. St. Chris, Ryan's been asking questions about St. Chris for a while. LaSalle could be good, a good time. I don't know. I'd, I, hold on. I'd give it another month or so. I got time. We can get there. Cool. Good to know. Well, we can always talk. Green Machine, what's up? Parker, what's up, Parker? 93 in chat. This is crazy. Now the pressure is really on, folks. We'll check baits in about 15 or so minutes. But I, like I said, I got... Uh, we had one little tap. It could have been anything. Kevin, how you doing, bud? Um, it, it's, it's until they're on the hook. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to call it. That's just me. If I'm reeling down and the hook comes out of its mouth, I might count that. We had three of those last week. That was rough. Or the week before that, when Bob was out here. Fishing and wishing. Now, I was on the Mississippi for the first time last year, twice, actually, when I went down to fish with uh, Avid at his meeting greet. It uh, definitely is a humbling river. Birds fishing outdoors. What am I... What? Oh. What's he said? Just about loss of birds. Uh, what are you? I'm asking. What are you using? I guess. Um, all right, we'll go through the whole rundown. I'm using uh, two Uncle Lou's over here on the uh, port side. 
uh, with the uh, Abu 6500 Pro Rockets strung up with uh, suffix 832 65 pound braid, uh, swivel snaps. You guys hear the Harley? Some by bridge, can you tell? Um, sinker slide. Uh, I'm running three ounces on this side just to keep the bull heads in place. I'm running shorter leaders tonight because I had a feeling I'm going to fish this spot and another spot. It's got some, um, it has some wood in it, at least on the bottom. I'm not going to fish in the wood, but the area I'm fishing is littered with stuff. Structure, good fish, love structure. We, we know that the whole routine. Um, so shorter leaders will help keep a little better control. I also like to think that depending on where you're fishing and what the conditions are being, the weather's cooled off so much. I don't want to have to have those fish chase them that bait down not that they won't but you know it's it's me it's all in my head not not really the truth but it's just the whole confidence thing a uh, shorter leader so they don't have to chase the bait as far pins them closer to the weight um i'm using uh on these actually uh, three of them i'm running the eagle claw 197 uh eight ots uh i got small bull heads on three of the poles one of them i got a big uh bullhead not a bullhead a big bluegill that i got right on the channel edge so we'll see kind of change it a little change it up a little bit i'm going to use the the bullheads which were uh dropped off at my house my good friend jose what's up buddy if he's still out there um they're small but they'll work elephants eat peanuts i hey, mean i don't care what size of bullhead is that'll kick all night i agree buddy let's see if we can hit 100 and chat that would be cool we're at 91 KY Catfishing Chris, I think I just saw you. I'm trying to keep up with Chad. I said hello to Green Machine. Laura, let's see. Uh, do you receive? No, I did not receive your sticker, Laura. I'll have to check. I don't know which address you used. I've used my office address. I've been having some problems with that. For some reason, the post office won't, doesn't like it say, saying Catfish and Crappie. I know a couple people got them returned, like Brian B had his return. Um, I got a second address if that is the case. It's an actual P.O. box. I can give that out to you. But yeah, I look forward to getting that. That's one of the cooler stickers out there. Green Machine has that. See, Haz needs a sticker too. Haz has collected a sticker. Haz, I'm going to send. Oh, what was that? Sometimes I start hearing things, folks. <laughs> Usually, if you guys know, if you get a good takedown, those those handles will, will squeak a little bit in the plastic dip on the rod holders. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. I don't have bells on there. I just got the lights. I'm also scrolling through chat too fast. So even if you guys did mention it, I'd probably miss it. Parker says, I couldn't imagine only using three ounces of lead river fishing. That's how, that's how slow the, the current is. Uh, DL King 1989 as the man. What's up, buddy? How you doing? That's a a long one to remember. Hey, Bax, is that another? Wait, what, what just happened? Just lost something. Where's my stream yard? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Bax. Thank you so much. For some reason, I'm not seeing them at the top of my chat window. Maybe when I scroll all the way down, I'll see them. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out No Real Loss Fishing in Washington, D.C. Right? That's It is D.C., right? Bex? Um, she's killing it out there. The East Coast family doing awesome. All right, Epic. Have a good night. Yeah, it's Sunday. Mad Catter. What's up, Richard? How you doing? Yeah, things are good. Things are good, my friend. Cody says, oh, he's talking to Ryan. Bex and Stephen. Steven. People saying hello. Old boy outdoors. Yeah, the bait's good. Uh, the, the bait's good. Them, them bullhead last forever. The one I got to worry about is that bluegill. And, and I just recast it, and it was kicking pretty good. I got it lit. I got it hooked pretty light towards the top, so it, 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 it'll be all right. And it's a little bigger one, so I can see the tip of the line twitch a little bit. 
what I'll do with bluegills is uh, I'll give it a crank or so. Sometimes that'll wake them up. It'll let you know how what kind of, kind of shape they're in. No reel donated. Hold on. Let me get to the bottom here and see what's going on here. All right. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I think I did highlight it. That's back. There it is. Thank you again. I can't help but love all you guys. As cheesy as it sounds. Stuart Parker said, hey, Mark, did you get your bay tank restock? Yeah, I did. Good. I'm stocked with bluegills, and my buddy dropped off those cool heads, so they'll be in there good. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get out one more time this week. I'll do a daytime uh, dragon live stream because it's fun. It's very fun. I want to head a little further north. Um, but I think I got the section of the river that produces the best for me kind of nailed down. Um, but you don't know. Up north, it's a little deeper. Or further north, maybe four, three miles up the river some from where I'm at right now. So we'll see. Come on, kid. Man, the last, last stream I was out here, when I was out here with Bob, that kind of blew my mind, man. Uh, we were out here, I think it was three in the morning. Don't quote me on that. There was people here the whole darn time. And then when I left the stream, I saw how many views it had and stuff. It really blew my mind. It was kind of humbling. Uh, and, they, and I got a ton of subscribers from it, too. That was really cool. That was a pleasant surprise. Mark Knott, what's going on, buddy? That was definitely a pleasant surprise. That was cool. Sean, what's up? Stilly, what's up, buddy? How you doing, Nick? Yeah, I love fishing too, man. Bex read this today. Uh, you can't keep. <clears throat> you can't keep against me. I want you to win too. That's exactly how I feel about this community. Yeah, I posted a, a meme on my Facebook, personal Facebook page. Had a picture of a. Oh. I had a picture of a guy sitting in a movie theater all happy. I forget the actor's name. I said, the look on my face when my friends do well. That's pretty much how I live my life. I like to see everybody do good. I mean, we'll give each other the business and stuff when we're just talking. But, you know, deep down inside, it's good to see him kick some, kick some ass. Oh, Lylan. Looks like Lyle and Richard are making deals. Mark not fight, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna reel a uh, couple of cranks on this uh on this blue bill, make sure it's still kicking. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this second one, number three. But yeah, they're all, they're all kicking. I can feel them moving on all of them. Yeah, Lyle was on the road. 89 people. That's awesome. Mike Irvin, if I missed you, I'm saying hello. All these people in chat, I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Good night, Richard. If you're heading out, I know a lot of people got to work and stuff. 
Jeremy, Jerry, Cody, everybody's in here. So, while I have all your attention, if you like Panfish, check out Panfish Nation on YouTube. This one, the green one, second one from this side. That that bullhead is nowhere near big enough to do that. Up oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Dad, blam it, wasn't a fish. <laughs> or it might have been. Who knows what it was. Or maybe that little bull hit strong enough to see the same thing just happened to this one. The red one, furthest on this side. There could be a juvenile over there picking at him, but... I imagine, again, I'm going to be talking about this weather change all night probably. You guys get sick of hearing about it. I'm guessing it's, will it slow them down? I don't know. Water's still 77 degrees. Let's see? Come on, keep them crossed, everybody. Sorry I'm not watching the chat. I'm kind of paying attention to it, but that's... Man, I really don't think those bullheads are big enough to do that, so I'm kind of freaking out here. Maybe they are big enough to do that. They are, those are the Uncle Lou's, the medium heavies. They're not lights. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the tip is on there. Are they fast? Those do have three ounce weights on them. We should pin those fish down pretty good. Let's see what's happening in the chat. We'll give that a minute. B. Higgles, what's going on? Oh, thank you, sir. Frank. What's up, buddy? We'll highlight that one in a minute. Let me get back to where I was at here. Mike Turner, what's up, buddy? Oh, that was a little one. Something's flopping around over here. I'm not going to start shining the light in the water, though. And I can't see because the red light's blowing my night vision out. Thank you for posting the, the link to Panfish Nation. I really love working on that show with Lyle. It's pretty cool. Cool, Freddie. That'd be cool to see. You know, I wouldn't mind. Uh... Yeah, Frank, but they're, did you see? I don't know if you were here. They're small. They're literally, they're like four, four and five inch bullheads. They're little ones. But yeah, usually the, the, the eight, nine inch ones that I usually use, they'll do that all night long. But apparently they got some kick to them. Avid shared out the link to the Panfish Nation. So did Stan. Look at this. Lyle, thanks everybody. I want to say hello to B. Higgles again. There you go. I don't doubt that one bit, Sean. You guys will be out there. And it, see, it did it again, but number three. So it's got them. Them bullheads got to have quite some life to them. 
for their size. Which is good. Kick all night, my friends. Kick all night. Yeah, that's the bite right now. That's what I'm thinking. They're inhaling and spitting them on the man connected to But hopefully we'll catch one in the mouth, hook one in the face, and see what happens. That's all we can do is try. But to be honest with you folks, I'm thinking the ones on the on the starboard side are the ones that would be the hot number. I don't know. I don't see them being in the wood. They haven't been all season from my understanding. I caught a couple, two in, one in the wood, two in the wood, lost one in the wood, caught one in the wood. I got three in the channels. Yeah, do they look scared? I used to think that too. I just think they're stubborn or they're looking for shelter. They don't like being exposed to. When you say they look scared, they could just be, you know, trying to hide. Hey, what's going on, Brand Catfish of Dreams? Hey, I got your lights on. I got three of the four of them. Uh, the one, the one, the battery's going bad on it. it keeps changing colors though. It's kind of cool, but I'm pretty sure it's the battery. I went to change it out, and I didn't have an extra one. But I'm pretty sure it's the battery, and it's not for me using it. It's, I think it was just a bad battery to begin with, and they were brand new when Brandon gave them to me. They're still in the package in the ceiling. Room. So I'm running them on three of the four rods. Rex Blocker, what's going on, Ben? Actually, on this one, the number one rod, furthest on, am I showing you the right way? Furthest on this side, it doesn't have a light on it. But I can kind of see the rod tip from the, from the anchor light. That one's got probably the biggest bullhead that I had in there, which is, I don't know, maybe five and a half, maybe six inches. And that one, when I just reeled down, I could film still kicking i like to reel down a crank or two every now and then just to make sure they haven't found like a little nook or cranny in the bottom to hide in. it's like i said this spot right here is kind of littered with stuff on the bottom mostly like decaying wood and stuff yeah dragon baits through here was a nightmare so i know what's there and then i saw it on my on my sonar Uh, you ain't kidding. They do take a beating. Well, good luck tomorrow. Might be a special guest tomorrow. I don't know if it was confirmed, but I'm not going to be one to say. You might want to not miss Catfish Weekly tomorrow. I got Wisconsin fishermen on tomorrow. Kyle Tyree, we've had him on Panfish Nation. I wanted to bring him back. I wanted to bring him back on my show to talk to him. We're going to talk about some crappie fishing. Uh, see if he does any catfish up there. I don't think so, but the guy does a lot of cool videos, a lot of underwater stuff. Just picked up a new boat. Well, we'll talk tomorrow. Tune in to, to my show tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, right after um, Catfish Weekly. I hope all you guys are hitting the thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you did. I want to say hello to Smokey, Smokey the Bear. What's up, my friend? That's a new name I don't recall seeing. If you have been in here and I missed you, I apologize. How late am I going to be tonight? I don't know. Uh, we're going to take it as it goes. I could run out of steam real quick. Last night I was doing strong until like 4 in the morning, and, and then I like ran out of steam like that. So I want to make sure to leave a little bit in the tank to get the boat off, get the boat out of the water and get it back in the garage and all cleaned up. But I got to, I do want to save this bait, so I got to mess with that when I get home too. If we don't get any real action by like midnight, we'll 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 reevaluate it by then. Or if it just gets too darn cold, I just got a hoodie on and I'm starting to get cold. Got my hands in my pockets over to my little hoodie pouch. <laughs> you you want you know I could show you why I use the red lights. If I turn on like the overhead light, I'd be inundated with bugs. 
I have no bo- no bugs bother me whatsoever now. Uh, mosquitoes haven't been bad this year at all, so I couldn't attest to them. Last year they didn't bother me too bad. So I'd rather look like the ginger ninja than than be covered in bumps, mosquito bumps. Twisted Fishing TV says, I have only used bullheads once, but I was also using baby carp. The carp caught all the fish, uh, so I haven't messed with bullheads since. Uh, That was many years ago. I've caught a lot of bullheads, a lot of flatheads on bullheads, Frank. We do pretty good with them out here. And I'm sure everybody's heard this before. I would believe that they're like the flatheads and bullhead. They're they're pretty much enemies. So, what's going on, Hundy Proof? I like that Hundy Proof. You talking about whiskey or something else? Hundy Proof. I am in uh, the Northern Illinois, fishing the Fox River, uh, approximately like McHenry County, Lake County, right in between there. Welcome. I'd appreciate it if you hung around. Maybe hit the subscribe button, a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. What kind of bait, Jordan? How you doing, Jordan? I am using bullheads on three, and I got a, a bullhead on one. I mean, bullheads on three, and I got a bluegill on one. Small, small bullheads. That's all I could. I didn't even get it. It was they were given to me. And thank you very much again, Jose, for that. Oh, thank you for letting me know, Betty. Three, 103 thumbs up. That's awesome. We're not even an hour into the stream. Fishing's been hard. I think it's been hard all over the country. Uh, all my friends and stuff all over the place, whether it's, you know, in Ohio or out here, uh, even in uh, Kentucky, they've been having a hard time fishing. I don't know what's going on. It could just be that July-August rut. Whiskers and stripes. They do like, I didn't know they liked black light. That's kind of cool. Yeah, see, Beck says that it was hard, too, for her. Uh, fishing. Good rough. Way I look at it is if I was home, I'd probably be on YouTube anyways, talking with somebody at some chat or, or something. So I kind of consider this my turn to host the party, right? Everybody takes their turns. Oh, I just had something swim under me. Something pretty big. Let's see what happens. Hope it's going this way, not this way. It was definitely, I'm, I'm back maybe, I don't know, 60, 70 feet. Kind of got him staggered out. I just caught that flash on my sonar on the side. It's something big. I wish I could show you guys this. No, I don't want to mark that. There we go. Fishing with Dom. What's going on, Dominic? How you doing, bud? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're in Florida, aren't you, Brandon? Lucky you. All right, let's see what Andy Proof said. I thought I saw something. Fishing Local 336. What's up, buddy? Jordan says, we was at the Fox two nights ago, and we got skunked. You lost one bigger. Well, you hooked up into one, so they're in here. It does relate to whiskey. There you go. Most of the high stuff stuff that I like to partake in once in a while. Right around the 127 proof rate. Well, that's usually a glass on or an ice ball or something. I like how the taste changes once it goes through the ice. Come on, fish. Let's go. 
I do not clip the fins. The only time I clip fins is basically when I'm using cut bait, just to make sure the fins don't get in the way of the bait. If I'm fishing with live bait, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to swallow the whole thing, right? Cut bait, I'm usually hoping for channels. Uh, flathead do bite on cut bait. So I'll clip the fins off on dead cut bait. I mean, no reason for it to get in the way of the hook. Uh, live bait, uh, I hook them. Bullheads, I hook either on the shoulders or on the tail. Today, I hooked them in the tail because uh, the current's kind of slow. Um, I like hooking them in the shoulders mostly, but these hooks are a little big to be hooking them in the shoulders. I want to keep them alive a little longer. Not that it'll hurt them much. But both work. I'm one of the firm believers that uh, flathead go for bait head first. These are so small, I don't think it'll matter. If I get into a big one, it'll hail the whole thing in one bite and probably spit it just as fast. They do that. If I can get one tonight, I'll be a happy man. And if I get none tonight, I'll probably come back someday soon anyway, so it don't really matter. Use smaller gear where? In Ohio? Dom says he loves fishing with bullheads. Yeah, it's because you ain't got to rebait them too often. We got some shallow flats across the river here. I don't think they're in there. I'm going to stick to the plan and hopefully we'll do good. Who here agrees with uh, B. Higgles? Who here loves fishing? Let's get a let's get a yo or a yeah. I like yeah in chat. Damien. Oh, quit trolling me. <laughs> That's my buddy Damien. He says, use chicken levers. Trust me. <laughs> Everyone agrees. There's no way that little bullhead did that. The green one, if you guys can tell the colors at home. Second one from that side. And it could be. I mean, if it was a fish, it'd either be on there or it wouldn't be doing that again. Yeah, that's what happens. I either feel it in the boat, in the seat of my pants, or you can hear that... Uh, hear the uh the rods rubbing in the um in the plastic dip on the rod holders that's what i usually listen for either that or i usually have betty in a boat maybe a hundred feet away telling me mark you got a fish all right KY Catfish Chris. Yeah, I got skunked at T-Ville uh, when he went. You're in Frankville. Frankfurt? Frankfurt, Illinois? I don't know where T-Ville is. Yeah, lights are working good. I just got to replace the one battery. And hopefully I won't cast them off. I just got one band of electrical tape on them holding them on. Frankfurt, Kentucky, okay. So I uh, left the house without eating dinner today, so I stopped at the local corner gas station, picked up a ham and cheese, <laughs> I've got that to look forward to, and a bag of Takis. So that's my uh, sustenance for the night. Yeah, Betty says you're on the wrong side of the river.
might be a slow changer. I don't know. Don't know what that means, Brandon, but that's okay. We can talk later. These I got through the tail because they're small. They're really small bullheads. And uh, I'll hook them through the tail or through the shoulders or, or the back, right behind the head. But today we got them in the tail because they're small. I'm going to check them here in a minute. Usually when I'm out here fishing like this, I'll stare at the rods for so long, it'll make your head spin, make you cross your eyes. Frank says, T-Ville is one of those stratifying legs. Everything is above the transition line. Are you talking about the... Um... <laughs> what transition line are you talking about, Frank? Forgot the darn word for it. Okay, slow change color. This one changes. It didn't do it before. It's doing it now. So one of them changes colors. This one's really slow changing colors. Kind of freaked me out. So maybe the battery is good. Yeah, it's changing colors. It's red now. It was just green. Justin, what's going on, bud? Thermocline. Yeah, thermocline. That's the word I couldn't remember. <laughs> thermocline, buddy. Thermocline. Yeah, thermocline. <laughs> See, you guys call the transition. You messed me all up. Oh, they start moving when they aren't moving. All right, I got you. So if you shake them, they kind of... Uh, Brandon, so if you shake them, they stop changing colors. Cool. Uh, B Eagle says my fourth fishing live stream, different channels. I've yet to see a fish caught. You should have been on my ones a couple weeks ago, man. I was killing the channel cat. We had one that was like 13, we did a 15, and then we had a 17 channel cat day. That was awesome. Fishing's like this, though. I'm staying optimistic. We'll see what happens. It's a rough day. This weather's really crazy. No chatter, D. Chatter, uh, Chad might be watching in the background. They'll always watch you uh, uh, after the fact. It's late for them. You got to remember, they're an hour ahead, too. They got real jobs. <laughs> Justin likes the fast change. That's another reason why I like rivers. No thermocline. <laughs> Give me one second here, guys. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, when we were on Rocky, man, I've never seen so much bait before in my life. They were all tiny dinks, but they were everywhere. No, you didn't miss any fish, Dan. It's going to be a long, slow night. Doesn't mean it won't happen, but this is going to be a hand. Hey, Becca. How you doing, dear? What's it say here? I'm still here listening. Hadn't eaten today, so fixed me and ate some supper. Cool. What'd you have, Becca? 
Make me hungry. He dances. Sounds like every night he's up. Oh, it's Christmas. You can't get the 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 days that make you a catfish hero if you don't go out and grind through all the bad days. What's my biggest flathead? Fifty-seven pounds, twelve ounces. There's a video. It says PB flathead on my channel. Caught on the Fox River. Whisker pig fishing. Good night, bud. Oh, cool. Striper. Tasty. How do I attach my line with the lights to the rods? I just use some electrical tape. Right here. Ta da. Just one band of it. It worked pretty well. These are, and that was by recommendation of Brandon Catfish and Dreams, who's in here. He's the one who gave those to me. He made them himself. Pretty cool stuff. Congratulations. My first blue is four and a half pounds. Second one, my PB is eight pounds for a blue. We got the blues here. If you guys don't already know that for some of the new people who are in the chat. We got lots of channels and we got flathead up here. Becca, that striper sounds better than what I'm going to have for dinner. I got a gas station sandwich and some super spicy Takis. Uh, we'll see what happens. I appreciate it. Justin, always nice talking to you, bud. We'll talk soon. Dan says, my PB was reset at eight pounds last weekend, and that goes for any fish. You'll get on them. You're in the family now. You'll start fishing more and more. But don't let it consume you in a bad way. Let it consume you in a good way. I know a couple guys who love to hunt trophies, and they get pretty miserable when it ain't happening. Now you're talking, Frank. Man, I bought some tomatoes while I was out in Ohio from the Amish store. Betty took me to. Holy smokes. Best thing I ever had in my life. Didn't hurt that I added bacon to those sandwiches I made with it, too. Yep, it absolutely is. I like the way you said that. Catching's always great, but if you can learn or you actually love the whole process, you're better off for it. it makes your life a lot better. Yep, I agree, Bex. I'm marking bait and stuff below me, so that's a good sign. I know a lot of... Man, those bullheads are making me proud. Let me see if I can turn this. Let's see if you guys are turn that a little bit. Every now and then they give it a little tug. I'm gonna check this bluegill here in a minute. See how it's doing. Mr. Rob Mack, what's going on? We are fishing the Fox River, uh, northern Illinois. Right on the border, I think, of, uh, what is it, McHenry and Lake County? I 
I'm fishing at ledge and some wood. This is like textbook flathead spot. It really is. Whether we'll get one, just because it's textbook doesn't mean you're going to get one. It ups your odds. Doesn't mean you're going to get one. It's also night. They're going to be traveling to eat. Hopefully they're going to stop here to, to, to pick up a snack on their way. Never had the Cherokee purple variety, Frank. Frank says, my tomato plants are blowing up. I've been eating the Cherokee purple variety. Let's see what Dan says here. It's 10.15. I have no bait, but I'm tempted to load up and go to the lake. You can always go to the lake and do a little bait fishing. Ooh, some Southern Comfort. There you go. I'm not a big fan of Southern Comfort. I had a bad experience with that in my younger years. That's a long story. Yep, bait fishing's fun. That's why I love Panfish Nation so much. Yeah, I think Beef Masters were the kind of tomatoes I picked up at the Amish store in Ohio. All right, I think I'm going to check on that bluegill, see how it's doing. It's probably past its expiration date. Peach Crown. I haven't had that yet, but I have heard lots of good things about it. I'll show you guys the, this is the biggest this is the biggest bullhead I have. He ain't that big. Oh no, actually this isn't the biggest one. The biggest one's closer to the wood. But they're all about this size. I don't know if you can see that. So he's kicking pretty good. Angry little fish. Let me try this one a little closer to the boat.
All right. I might have had a hit. Look. I hate when this happens. Hook turned in on itself. All the way through him a second time. back no i'm not drunk this boat just it's pretty tippy it's pretty narrow boat Man, i don't know why that little that little blue bullhead's able to do that i mean he is tiny 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 mm -mm -mm -mm. all right bex thanks for stopping by hopefully you're still here protective member of society that's kind of overrated ain't it <laughs> we're gonna try and get on the shovel head here Beefmaster tomato talk. I like Beefmasters. Those are good tomatoes. You guys know what I'm going to have when I get home tonight, right? I got one of them tomato, one of the maters left. Yeah, in the red light district again. Trying to pick me up a big old girl out here on the river. Hey, Troy. Hello again. Uh, what did Lyle say? Just see, Lyle loves Southern Comfort and Crown. Have you tried that peach stuff, Lyle? Brandon was talking about that. Thanks, Brandon. You guys have a good night. Have a good week. We'll talk during the week, definitely. It's magically delicious. <laughs> Doc is on Catfish Weekly tomorrow. I didn't want to let the cat out of the bag unless you had confirmed that. So the great Doc Lang will be on tomorrow, guys. Check it out. Thumbnail is up. You should have told me, but I'd have definitely made that up for you. Sampy, what's up, buddy? How you doing? There's Chad. Chad, what are you doing up? Everybody was asking about you. They're like, they can't believe that your your brother, Chad, the ginger ninja, ain't in here. All right, what time is it? It is 10.23 flathead time. My next spot that I want to try is down the river a little bit, but I don't want a copyright strike, if you know what I mean. They're playing music over there. So we're going to wait that out. I don't know what time they close on Sundays, though. I'd, I'd like to think it was 11. I can kind of hear the music in the distance. Let me guess. You were tying jigs. <laughs> I'm watching movies. Cool. Thanks for watching the chat as always. Yeah, I didn't doubt you didn't have it on. Hey, we got to talk about your, you going after Chad so much. Maybe we ought to let him up a little bit. I think it's starting to wear on him. 
uh, uh, uh. The one, the red one furthest over there just panicked like crazy. Does that mean anything? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. It does get your blood pumping, though. Here, fishy, fishy. You know, I really need taller rod racks in this boat. I got spoiled fishing on Betty's boat this last week. Nice on Brandon's boat. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to break your heart. <laughs> Just need to back off a little bit. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah, folks, not this, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow, Avid's going to be on my show. So make sure you check that out. I'm going to make sure I get the man, Avid, on there. That'll be a good hour show. We'll talk about all sorts of stuff, some of our experiences together, some of his experiences, his fishing, his uh, uh, trash bag challenge, how much he helps the community. It's going to be a good show. Make sure you show up and support him. He'd love to see you in there. Yeah, he knows that. See, look, he even included you in his group shout out. There's an idea. Maybe we can talk Chad into coming out so you guys can have like like a, a make peace on, on my show a week from tomorrow. You guys need to think about it. I'll be messaging you. People still saying hello to one another? <laughs> Tiger says he's more of a brown bag challenge kind of guy. No reason why you can't enjoy the brown bag while you're filling the black with a garbage bag, a, a trash bag. Pork chop, what's up, buddy? I think I said hello to you earlier, but if not, I apologize, William. See, I agree. We'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm not making any promises. I don't mean to put anybody on the spot. And I don't want to detract from Avid being on the show either, so I'll have to think about it. But it'll be something to, to think, to do, or to consider. You know, if I said I wasn't getting impatient, I'd be lying. What's going on, Danny Baylor? <laughs> Danny Baylor's looking for fishing friends. Hit him up. The great state of Mississippi, right? Is that what it's? Oh, Missouri. There's a lot of people in Missouri fish. I met a lot of people through like uh, uh, the local uh, uh, Facebook pages. So pick out a waterway, a big waterway that's near you. And find the page that's dedicated to fishing that waterway, and, and you'll hook up with some people. That's another good place to start. Or to look. 
Yeah, I usually fish for eight, eight hours at a time. I don't know if we'll get there today, though. You have an on, what online fishing tournament are you in, Lance? Or is that something outside the family? No, you're not bad luck, B. No, you are definitely not bad luck. Maybe I'm bad luck. Maybe I need to jump out a boat. What am I seeing over there? It sounds small, but something is moving. I know better than to shine a light over there, but I can't help myself. Oh, still got 50 people in chat on a Sunday night. Yeah, that doesn't show me nothing. So a lot of times when I'm fishing, I get the feeling that I need to move maybe just 100 feet. Good night, Chad. Thanks, buddy. We'll talk tomorrow, man, for sure. Have a good one. Oh, tell D I said good night. Yeah. Left-handed? I don't know what that is, but okay. SK, what's going on, buddy? No, nothing. We're fishing for flatheads. It's slow here on the Fox. Everybody's been telling me, don't even bother to come out tonight, actually. But I had bait. Wanted to give it a shot. Do a little live streaming. Figured it was my turn to host the party. You know how that goes. So I figured I'd get out here, spend a few hours. I was going to pull an all-nighter, but if I don't get any action or takedowns before, like, midnight or so, I might, you know, call it soon after that. I'm waiting for a certain place to to close their business so I can go pull over there and try and not get a copyright strike. So that's the plan, so to speak. Yep, go fishing when you can. You know what I'd like to see, SK? I'd like to see you fishing with Richard Gene. That would be great crappie video right there, bud. Richard Gene, the fishing machine. Maybe you could show him a thing or two, bud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't have an opinion either way. As long as he's being all right with everybody, I don't care. As long as they're not super trolling or whatever, it's, I'm fine with it. I apologize to anybody that gets offended by that stuff, but... <laughs> Do I partake? No, I do not. <laughs> I left it. Well, I mean, kind of it might have been sneaking the regular kind, but not the, what you guys are talking about. No, nope, no matter how hard I stare at him, it doesn't make him go. <laughs> Do I not like using bells, Jordan? I use bells when I'm uh, bank fishing, most definitely. Because uh, when I'm bank fishing, I'm usually surfing. and doing the bad thing of surfing online. But when I'm in a boat, they, they just end up in a drink. I don't, I don't mess with them. Also, they seem to get in the way for me. And, you know, you can, and I wasn't kidding when I say you can feel it in your pants uh, when they hit a pretty good one. Hey, what's going on, Jacob? SK saying hello to everybody. 
<laughs> Papa T. <laughs> Aren't you guys supposed to be in Dobson's channel for that? Becca was saying she wanted to come on here, handle the chat for a little while. So if Becca's still here and you want to do that, maybe I can send you a link if you want to do that, Becca, of course. Just let me know. I will have to come off screen real quick. Hopefully I won't lose you guys. That's what I definitely get really worried about that. Chad Nolte, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Nope, nothing yet. Slow night. Oh, we got a question up here. How deep am I fishing? I am sitting in five feet of water right now, and I'm fishing anywhere. From, I'm fishing a ledge. Uh, on this side, there's a bunch of timber uh, off to the side. A big, big pile. Big pile of timber. I don't want to call it a brush pile because that's crappie fishing. We ain't crappie fishing. It's approximately two feet there. I got bait scattered from there all the way across into the six foot channel. So uh, hopefully we'll get them traveling. I, I would have liked to have seen a little steeper drop off and there kind of is, I'm at the top of a hole. So it's kind of bowled out behind there. I'm trying to hit the outside of that hole here in the front next to the log pile and then one right on the ledge of the channel here and see what happens. Try to get them in transit. That's the idea, that's the idea. Yeah, Lance, I have seen that rod, whether they're not any good. I do not know. I know Chunky has a couple rods wrapped in. I know he does He does the paint, obviously. We all know and it looks really cool at night with the black lights. But I think he, didn't he have one that was uh, lit up as well? It's one of them uh, wraparound LED type things. Oh, there are electronic alarms. <laughs> They can't hurt. Flathead bites are different, though. I mean, if I wanted a bite alarm, I'd just put the bait clickers on. But I am using circle hooks. I am talking to you. So I'm hoping we'll just hook up. So what's everybody got planned for August? Any big fishing plans? Or just a lot of just getting out and doing it? Jordan says he's loving the Uncle Lou's. About three medium heavies here, so that's cool. Uncle Lou's pushing a lot of those rods out, and just rightfully so. He uses, um, Epic and Sean use the, um, the glow sticks, the big long ones, the necklaces that look really good. I went ahead and I ordered like a hundred of them from Amazon, the Evil Empire, like I like to call it. And uh, they're just bad quality ones that you can barely see them. So I left those at home. Brandon over at Catfish and Dreams heard about my dilemma and he made these for me. Actually, I think I still got this one. Oh, I meant to put this one on that rod. When we go to check it again, he made these for me. And I just put them on the tip. And at least I can see him, you know, I can watch for that slow flathead bite. Oh, he did have one at one time. Circle hook the best. I like circle hooks. 
J hooks have their place under a bobber. I like using J hooks. I like using J hooks when I uh, when I'm using Kentucky rigs too. Uh, it depends on the feeling, what I'm doing too, how much tension I want to pay. Usually I'll use uh, uh, bait clickers when I'm using J hooks too. Let's see what Frank says. Flatheads feed up. Floats are excellent for night fishing. Uh, it could be better than the old bottom rig. I agree, Frank, but when you got four lines out, four floats make for a mess. Also, I don't like what bobber stops do to braid. I really don't. I mean, it doesn't do it right away, but eventually it's going to it's gonna cause some issues. And I want to avoid that. Sound of a clicker can get your blood pumping, definitely. So, yeah, I've seen those at Walmart, Dan. The ones that have the built-in bite alarms. Some of these bass reels, they have electronic controls for the brakes, too. I'm crazy. They're getting out of hand. Lyle says, I'm fishing a bowl of salsa and a bag of chips. <laughs> Go along with my beverage. So you're making me hungry, Lyle. I'm going to have to dip in for some of those Takis. You know, maybe if I munch on some food or something in front of y'all we'll get that food bite wow it's getting cold Whew. yep labor day jordan labor day it's happening usually the day after i would i don't know how hard i'm going to go after him this year we'll see We're going to give this spot 19 more minutes. We'll give it to 11, and then I'm going to move that out of other, that other spot. Then we'll give that one a couple of hours and see what happens there. Sun bought one of those Shimano electronic brake jobs. Annoying to listen to. They do have quite a whine, don't they? <laughs> now your bait caster will get be hacked. Yeah, those kings are a blast to catch. King salmon, if anybody's wondering. Getting cold. Yeah, it's like 58 degrees, SK. It's chilly up here. That's why I'm not, you know, I'm kind of wondering what it's done to the fishing. I'm starting to find out what it's done. When I can get away to fish like this, I'm going to take advantage of it, no matter what the weather is, as long as I'm not getting rained on or anything. So, yeah, I got a hoodie on. I got two T-shirts on. The other spots uh, are probably the same depth. Five feet's a pretty pretty good depth here. Uh, but what I'll be doing is it's, it's a choke point that I'm going to where the river narrows. Uh, it's also, there's a lot of, just like this, there's a lot of brush and stuff. And it's, it's, it's pretty much a proven spot. If they ain't biting there tonight, they're that kind of ain't biting. The reason why I'm not at there now is because there's a business that plays music outside and I really don't want the copyright strike. So I usually have to wait until they close down unless I'm fishing it, uh, um, fishing it and not streaming. You know, if, if I'm videoing it, I might be able to get away and, and edit or do a voiceover, but I'm not going to do it on a live. I haven't seen Becca. She might have. All right. You can use three-way rigs. Put your sinker 18 inches below your hook. And peg float 24 inches above your hook. Help hold your bait off the bottom. Yeah, that works awesome for bullheads especially. I also like using a, um, a float at the top of that just to keep it pinned at the top. You know what I mean, Frank? Oh, wait. What, what was that? I 
I saw a ghost or something in my reflection on my phone. Thought it was one of those taking a dive. Ghost meaning just a shadow or something. Probably went, oh, you know what it is? It's, holy smokes. Oh, it's the street light reflecting off my glasses. Let's see what else Frank has to say. Make sure you leave enough slack to let the float stand. Yep. 60 degrees in Richmond, Indiana. Yep, it's just like, I think it just reached like 58. It feels like 50. But yeah, just probably because we're used to it hot. It was so hot in Ohio last week on the river. We were dying. We stuck it out. We put eight hours in on that river. I think six hours at least. Walked away with one channel cat. It's funny. I told a couple of people about this. We were fishing the same spot that Chris Souders was. Exact same spot Chris Souders was in the day before. He, he killed him out there. We didn't even get a bite. I use, um, I have right today, I love Pro Rockets, Abu Garcia, Abba, Abu Garcia 6500 Pro Rockets. If I can find them used, I'll pick them up used. Or if I need one, I might buy one for myself for Christmas and say it's from the wife. Uh, I do have a catfish customs job on one of these uh, Uncle Lou's. Uh, I got that one as from a gift from somebody. That one's nice. That one's out of control as far as castability and stuff goes, and it's, it's as smooth as it is. It actually took me a while to get the um, the tensioners on the outside just to just right so I could backlash that darn thing. I'd let a friend of mine use it, and he just backed it all out. And he thumbs it more than I do. I don't like to thumb them. I like to just free spool them and then stop them at the end. But yeah, that that took some getting used to. But the Pro Rockets, they run they run real good and true for me. The first bowl of salsa is in my honor. Thank you, Lyle. The second is for me. <laughs> and a beverage is what they're going to do to my back tomorrow. Yeah, Lyle, good luck. Doc. Lyle has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I won't get into that. But uh, uh, we want to keep him in our thoughts, make sure everything's good. I, I believe it's nothing major, but he's going in tomorrow to uh, visit his doc. Yep, use a sinker big enough. I'll use, like, the coins I got or a... Uh, or one of those flat bank singers. Hello, Uzil Zumaya. Uh, uh, forgive me for getting that wrong. Welcome to the chat, but how you doing? That's a new name. If you go, prospect. Oh. I do not go to Prospect. It does seem fun. I know Patriot James does. Yeah, we had a cordless fan, too. Those DeWalt ones are pretty nice. Betty had one. It was a great idea. I just missed one. Have I checked those Amazon reels? I have not. I'm not sure which ones you're talking about, Jordan. You know, everybody gives me a lot, uh, not grief, but they don't like the fact that, I wouldn't even say they don't like it. They like to use their reels of choice, which, which is fine. A lot of people are looking to spend some money. I've been doing this for a while, so I got a collection of gear. So if I'm adding something to the collection, you know, I, I don't need to buy six reels. I can get away with buying one, so I'll buy the ones that I kind of like and use. And the reason why I like Abu so much, and I've had this talk with a bunch of people, me and, and Keith over at Fish and Stuff had this discussion, um, how they're, he, he called me, yeah, they're like Glocks. They keep running, and I'm like, even better. They're more like 1911s. Parts are always available for them, and they always will, and they've been around just as long. So that's my thinking. I do definitely like bait casters for catfishing. Oh, we got some gold mine or gold. What do you call it? Gold prospectors in the room. Hey, CVA, what's going on, buddies? Thanks for checking it out. South Carolina, I bet you it's nice in South Carolina tonight. Oh, top more. 
gold prospecting. Oh, that's okay, man. Have at it. It is what it is. We, we'll, I'll talk fishing all night. You guys can talk in the background. I got no problem with that. Yeah, I hear you. I heard something quick. What the heck was that? Starting to hear things. You guys are going to think I'm crazy before the end of the night. I'm just trying to keep my head on a swivel. I'm going to dig into my cooler and get that bag of tacky takis, however you say it out. Maybe get another soda out of there so I can get a refill. You know what, guys? I think that's what I want to say. Do you recommend uh, bait casters for bank fishing? Yeah, I'll tell you why I recommend bait casters, whether it's uh, bank fishing or boat fishing. Um, it's easier to throw big baits than it is with a spinning reel. Spinning reels work fine. Not a problem at all. I'm a fan of spinning reels. Just it's not for throwing, you know, nine-inch bluegills. Really, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, and it works fine, and it works great. But uh, that's not something. What's going on, Willie? How you doing? Red tip is bumping a little. Yeah, that's got to be the the bullhead. The bullheads are champs. Even for being that small, they're still those Uncle Lou rod tips. They got to be pretty sensitive in order for that size of a bullhead to be doing it. And I thought my rail splinter tips were fast, but I think they're closer to a heavy than they are a medium. But that bluegill was kicking good. But like I said, I'm going to move spots in like 20 minutes. So I'm going to let them do their thing. I don't, I don't have to move far. i got to move literally a oh, quarter mile, not even. So it'll be a quick move. It's the anchor and it takes forever. Whiskers and Stripes says he'd like 7,000s over to 6,500s uh, just because of the... Uh, the lever. I uh, hate the little thumb buttons on a 6500. So it's, it's what you get used to. But yeah, I can I can understand uh, how you get used to that. Why is this boat? Where are these waves coming from? I just got some weird waves and the boat hasn't been a while, a while in a while. By here in a while. Unless there's a really big boat of river, but we don't have barges that will be able to do that. It's enough to get my attention, is what it is. Yeah, you can just see them slightly rolling. I don't know. Can you guys see when I got those lights on back there? Those light up pretty good. But then the neighbors come out and tell me to shut them off when I have them on. See, look at that. Even Dobson says Abu for life. Uh, I have a problem with uh, casting big gills with spinners. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, that. I mean, if you're if you can get used to using a big caster, which I believe anybody can, I don't see why you wouldn't try that. There's a lot of different brands out there, so if you don't want to make the initial investment, you can always just go and pick up one of those cheaper. Uh, reels that are out there. I'd ask around with some of the other guys and see what they recommend. A lot of them use them. I mean, Chad was in here. I know he uses a couple of them, like catfish swimming stuff. People use casting rovers and stuff. I don't have any experience, so I hesitate to uh, give you my opinion on those. But I will give you an opinion on how much I like the Abus. I like the Pence, too. They're pretty good. They're a little bulky for what I use them for. But Brandon Cross loves those Pence. And he had one on a whisker seeker rod that looked pretty darn good. I was actually surprised he had a 20 series. I got 15s at home, and it still didn't look too bad on there. It didn't look too top heavy either. Had bad ones over to your Willie? Yeah. Nah. Everybody has their experiences and stuff. I've 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 never had a problem with the with the push buttons, to be honest. Um I've had problems putting like aftermarket um, uh, power handles on there. Uh, if they're not counterbalanced when you go to cast them, they'll actually engage the, the clutch on the reel. So I don't recommend that. If you if you get anything, get obviously the Abus are pretty good. Twenty bucks for a power reel though, for a power handle is it is what it is. 
But uh, um, if you go to buy one of them aftermarket ones, like yeah, off of eBay or something, make sure you get one with a counterweight on it. Um, and to be honest with you, the only reason why I like the power handles is because I got big hands. Uh, the double paddle ones, my knuckles hit the other one going around. Actually, uh, Jonathan uses uh, uh, Akuma CLXs. I know that for a fact. Over at home. I don't know if he's got any new pens, but I know he's used CLXs for the longest time. He might have gotten them since he got the, the new reels from... Uh, um, Ripping Lips, that's it. I know he's got a set of them that they sent him. He loves them reels and he loves them rods, and that's all that matters. Uh, Freddie, that's a good question. It's a, it's technically a V, but it's such a small boat. It's pretty much flat once you get towards the back of it. So she'll do good under power, but just sitting there, she'll she'll bob around like a flat bottom. Um, there is a small degree to the V on the bottom, but I don't think it's that much more than any other regular job. It's a 16 foot, it's 16 foot uh, Lund Fury, uh, 1600 with a council on it. Um, the beam is what, 72 inches. So it's a narrow boat. That's why it's kind of, you know, not so stable when you see me walk and I look like I've been partaking in alcohol all evening but that's not the case it's kind of funny because it's even worse when i use a gopro because a gopro is the the um the steady shot or whatever the the steady function on it will stop the boat from looking like it's moving but then it i'm walking this way it's kind of humorous cool Whisker and Stripe says, my whole boat is Penn and Abu, except my wife's two pink Akuma Cold Waters. I thought about picking up a couple of Akuma Cold Waters to try uh, just for the real counters. But then, you know, uh, that would be only because I want to get two or four of them. You know, I really want the Abu ones, but I don't know if I need four new reels and four new rods just for line counters. I mean, it'll help, but in this river, I don't think it'd be that much of a try. Hey, was that you in the video? Was that that big beast that you got, the 50-pounder? Was that you, Cody? I saw pictures of that one. I'm waiting for the video. I'm, yeah, eh, I'm not going to say where I think you guys were at. Not that I'm spot hopper but I just I think I got a good idea where he got that all right man thanks for coming in uh B I appreciate it thank you very much we'll get on to the next spot and see what happens Lake Michigan and the Fox mm. oh here comes here comes a boat middle of the night it's gotta be a fisherman sounds like a little John boat took him a while to get here See if I know this guy. Could be somebody watching the stream coming to visit. I just kind of worry about that. Fins and foul. What's going on, buddy? I can't see what kind of boat it is, but they're going slow at least. Don't see any rod holders on there. Hello again, fins and fowl. I want to make sure I didn't forget to say it. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't trust those charts. I don't mean to break your heart, but those charts, I think... I don't know if it's a flathead chart you looked at or if it's the standard catfish one. He's, this, he's coming back. He changed his mind. He's like, oh, I'm not coming this way. I must be in this spot. 
So he's not in the spot I'm want to go into when I go around here. Oh, he's stopping. He's fishing the other side of the river. Ah, uh, he's just strolling underneath the bridge. Yeah, he's on the... We're gonna wait to see what he does. All right, let's see. Let's get back to this. Yeah, it weighed 57, but scale was all over the place. Uh, we measured it out, and the chart said 62. But who cares? It was a giant. I agree. I'm the same way. I mean, knowing what the your PB weighs is good for the next one, but does it really matter? There's some people it does. More power to them. What is this guy doing? What if you're having fun? Going. I wonder where this guy's gonna fish. This guy's gonna fish right where I was thinking about going. Maybe not. Let me check my lights here. And congratulations on that, Cody. That's an all, that's a tremendous fish. Now, Cody, I don't remember. You traveled out here, right? You didn't. Uh, you don't live in the area, or do you live in the area? See, Jose says 11 p.m. is the hot bite. Well, I ought to move over to my hot spot. Somebody's out here in a boat, and they're fishing right where I was thinking about starting earlier. I wonder where he went. I can't see where he's... All right, guys, if you guys hang in there, I'm going to move. It's going to take me a while. i got to reel in four lines and, and, and two anchors, and you know how that goes. It takes a little while to get set up at the next spot. So hang in. Hang in there. I'd appreciate it. We're going to go try the other spot, all right?
And that water feels warm on that anchor. All right, we're ready to move. I guess I'm going to turn you around so you don't blind me while I'm driving.
All right, guys, we're here. I just got to get anchored up, get some baits out here. We'll see what happens. Sorry about the, the pause in, in the chat. Get away from that shore a little bit. get these anchors out here. Get backward out here.
All right, sorry about that, folks. What a pain in the butt, I know. I'm part of the game, though. See the boat swaying. All right, let's see what's been going on at Chad here. A little. I gotta scroll back through here. Well, hey, we still got thirty-four in chat. Yeah, it was quite the task. I think that was my one buddy coming down the river like a bat out of heck, but it's hard to see. It, right? It's dark out here. It's dark, dark, dark. Let's see what I missed in it. <clears throat> All right, dance. Oh, yeah, Chris, I haven't used my ultralight in a while. Okay. Just going through the chat, folks. Yeah, it, this boat rocks pretty good, but I ain't going to kid you. It's narrow, too. Oh, look at this one. Bait's kicking. You guys see that? Holy smokes. It's an angry little bullhead. I love bullheads. And that's a little guy, too. Shaking the rod holder, even. Talk about drones. Well, I tried to hurry it up, but... Yeah, I'm the same way, Dan. A uh, uh, hot bite is... If I can get, if I can get a couple of takedowns, I'm a happy man. If I can put a fish on the boat, even better. Last time I was out at this spot, I got into two. Wow, that one's really kicking. I might put another one, a fresh one on here. It was kicking pretty good when it casted it out. We got a new bluegill on that, and that one's kicking too pretty good. Oh, trying to get away. Oh, I'm feeling good about this spot. Doesn't mean anything's going to happen, but I do feel good. Yeah, I need a set of binoculars in my boat. <laughs> Damn. 
Not putting that one on the screen, Dan. Fisherman, 1979. What's going on, bud? How you doing? Thanks for checking it out. We're trying to get on some flathead tonight. The bite's been extremely slow. Weather's been extremely cold for this time of year. So it's kind of to be expected, but I figured I had the night to get out here and try. So we will do that. Popsicle in the microwave for a few seconds, okay. Uh, I'm not going to put that one. Yeah, I probably should have waited on a better night than this, but I needed to get out. I'm sure you guys are checking me late. Yeah, something just popped in front of me here. I'm just blocking this because I can't read with this light or see. Yeah, these lights in here blind me to death. We won't highlight that one. Yeah, let's not mess up my stream. Be nice, guys. <coughs> I don't mind you messing around a little bit, but we gotta. We just gotta keep it under control. You never know who's watching. I'm northwest of Chicago, like 40 miles. Stephen, what's going on? Hey, hey, awesome. Yeah, it's when it's unexpected that it doesn't help the fishing. It'll turn it off until they get used to it. Only thing we got going for us, it's going to be like this all week. At least I think. Will I be able to get out here again at night? Probably not. That's the problem. Might be able to sneak out during the day one day this week. But... I mean, I was planning on staying out here most of the night, but if this bite's slow or, or non-existent, there's no reason to do that. I'll go home, get some dinner, get some eat. Steve, you got skunked yesterday morning. I'm sorry to hear that. It'll happen. It happens a lot. That's right, Cody. Cody, you know, I missed it. Did, did you uh, say you, do, you, you, you did have to travel a little bit to get out here, right? to fish with Jonathan. You're close to the cat. I was actually at the Cast Casket last year. Pretty river. Didn't do very well for flatheads. It was this time of year too. I didn't do any good down there at all. Tried everything. Shad. Bluegill, car. Spent a lot of time with waters in the line. With lines in the water, I should say. Can you guys hear that music kind of droning in the background? I hope not. Then he drives down. But where are you at, Cody? Oh, the Rock River? Okay. Is the Rock River any good for flatties? I know some people that have caught them there. They catch them right. They used to catch them there, there at the dam, the couple of guys I know that would go there. And then obviously in the boat, but they hired a couple of guides that when they went out there. Other than that, the couple of times I've been out there, I slayed the channels as I was out there from a bank spot. Never had the my boat out there. Central Illinois? All right, Cody. Hey, chooch mood. I guess that's how you say it. Mode, chooch mode. How you doing, bud? Yeah, that's how come I don't go out that way. I kind of shy away from rivers. I don't much about that. People warn you. Oh, I got my hands wet from messing with that bait. Now they're freezing cold. It is August 1st, right, guys? 
West Central Illinois. Oh, just making conversation. Cody was talking that uh, a mutual friend of ours comes down. Powerton, I don't like. I hate that walk. <laughs> Clinton, yeah. And Springfield, yeah, I've seen him out there. Alicia, what's going on, Alicia? How you doing? Oh, what did I just do? Banners, comments. All right, there we go. <laughs> 32 minutes. <coughs> Fishing at Taylorsville Lake. I think I'm going to need to get me a snack here, folks. So hold on. I'll be right back. I guess I am kind of local. I see a lot of local guys. It's funny how other parts of the country, there's a whole mu whole bunch more like YouTubers and live streamers everywhere. You guys all hang out here in the Midwest, not so much. There's a few bass guys. You know, obviously John B's from around here. Same with, uh, what's that other guy? Perry. They actually live really close to where I live. I used to see John B. B all the time when he lived out here. Not that I'm in the bass fishing, but those guys have done pretty good for themselves. All right, let me grab a snack here. Maybe that will get the snack bite going. Remember I was complaining about my hands being cold? Well, I just had them in a cooler. Now they're really cold. There's no numbers in the Potomac River. There's a bunch of YouTubers out there that kill it on the Potomac. Maybe it's just the stretch you're in. Could have gotten away with a thermos of coffee. What's going on, Rhonda? How you doing? Now I know Rhonda's in Alabama. I didn't know that. Are you anywhere near uh, Doc Lane and them down there? Gunnersville or Wheeler? Is it Wheeler that's down there? All right, here's the first course of dinner. Some Takis. Oh, yeah, that they do have in the Potomac. Yeah, they kill it out there. Hey, you got to fish what's available to you, plain and simple. Don't let that other stuff discourage you. You guys ever have these? These are, like, really sour. Wheeler, that's right. James Gent, what's going on? Wow, these are salty. 
Mm. Right here next to the boat. Maybe he wanted to talk you. All right, I might be having a good feeling about this spot. Obviously, my voice wasn't scaring that off. That was a, that was a tail slap. That wasn't anything else but that. Blue one. That blue one's, oh, come on, that's a fish. Come on. Hope you guys can see that blue one. Alarm. I'm gonna give this red one a crank though. I'm worried it's caught them. Still kicking. like that idea, Ron. Let's read through the chats here. Oh. Ooh. Dan, isn't uh, Tide Pig Patrol in Oklahoma? It was like Kansas. If I was you, I'd start hitting them spillways I got over there. You haven't missed anything yet. You missed a move, Chad. I'm kind of excited about this spot. I said I'm going to give this spot like another couple hours, and then we'll call it probably 1 p.m. Or 1 a.m., I should say. You're on break? If I don't get a hit in this spot, they're, they're not biting today. At this time, this is usually pretty good. Watch, I'll get a hit right before I was going to get ready to pack it up, and then it'll turn into an all-nighter again. Which is fine as long as I'm getting fish and keeping you folks entertained. And not freezing to death. Whew.
Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it. Kansas, yeah. J Fox Hunter, what's going on? Still got 42 in chat. 42 people. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber and you subscribe to the channel, I'd be very, very grateful. You know, Ty and Josh, they're friends in high school. I don't know if you knew this. And they used to have one channel called Picture Patrol. And they split it up because they moved because of work and stuff in life. But they're both doing pretty good. But, yeah, Ty, Pick Patrol channel is huge. Did you see the last video where he was catching those monster bluegills? Lyle sent that to me, like, right away. Clear water on Lake Havasu. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. That's what I understand. He had a good fight, job in oil business, too, from what I heard. But I don't know the guy, so I don't talk about his business. But that's what I heard. I also heard the same about a couple of our other favorite YouTubers, without mentioning any names. They've been doing that. Good for them. Hopefully it all works out for the best. These bullheads keep me on edge. They're pretty good at tugging at that line. <laughs> get up and get some food, man. <laughs> Can always rewind if something happens. Congratulations on a five-pound channel. That's a good-sized channel. <coughs> wow, those Takis are salty. Excuse me. I haven't had those before. Somebody told me I needed to try them. Oh. Baits all kick. Baits all kicking, so that's good. I wonder what this boat looks like from outside the boat all lit up like this. I look like some maniac, all red and demonic sitting in a boat here. <laughs> yeah, me too, Chad. Nothing wrong with that either. Thanks, Jeremy. It's nice that it doesn't bang the bugs, so I can't complain. I can kind of see what I'm doing, or you guys can see me. It actually totally blows my night vision out. Come on, I want to show you guys a fish. My goodness. You tried some chicken, Alicia? That's all right.
Yeah, get you a monster. Yeah, I guess she would be. I haven't heard that song in a while. Maybe I should change the name of my boat to the Cat House. What do you think? <laughs> Dad singing. <laughs> See? KY Catfish Chris gets it. Please hold it. I'm back. Mm, 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 mm. Sounds good. Right? There you go. That's not what you think. It's just not YouTube friendly. <laughs> Mark's Red Light District. I kind of like the cat house. I do. Actually, the name of this boat, besides it being called after my wife, I call it the half slab because I did miss filleting half a slab of crappie on video that James Bockery caught me on. It used to be called the Game Changer, so I guess now it's called the Cat House, huh? I suppose it had lots of names. Oh, and the Northwestern. When I got a guest on here and I let them catch all the fish, I call it the Northwestern. You guys call me Sig, I'll call him Edgar, the guy in the boat. That bluegill with the blue light on it, that's kicking surprisingly well. Yep. It's trying to get, it's trying for freedom. Man, I gotta clean this boat out. I'm looking at what kind of a pigsty it is. It just means I use it, right, guys? Cat house with the red light. <laughs> Hopefully, I can't call them cats in here when I turn on the lights. That'd be great if I could get it. The time band is more fitting. Time flies when you're on the water. Uh, there you go. <laughs> See, got them all going to chat. Hmm. 37 still ain't watching me on a Sunday night at just before midnight. Pretty cool. Got the night owl club in here probably, right? All right, no matter how hard I look at them, I'm not going to make them bend, right? I try. 126 likes. That's awesome. Appreciate every one of those. I don't think likes make that big of a difference anymore um, with the with YouTube, but it, it's good to know that people acknowledge that, you know, that they like what you're doing. All right, have a good one. You stay safe at work, Chad. Thanks for coming back in. I don't know if I'll be here on your next break, but if I am, you can always stop by.
if we get into them, which it doesn't look like they're feeding really active tonight, so. Good thing is I got a lot of bait left. I'll throw them in my bait tank. I'll have it for, for later next week or to pass on to the next buddy of mine that needs them. Even if you used chicken, that would be fine. Use whatever you want, guys. I just tell you what I don't use. <laughs> and we give each other a lot of stuff. Don't take it for gospel. Use whatever makes you happy if you need to put fish on the boat to make yourself, you know, make it worth it for you. Go ahead and do it. I keep kidding around saying I might make a chicken video someday. <laughs> might. Yeah, I am. Chooch, I'm on the fox. <laughs> Michael Harper. Yeah, it's still pretty low. You know, I was talking to one of the guys in chat that, that's local and fishes the river a lot. He was saying that they just passed something that says they were going to start holding on to water a little longer. Uh, between uh, McHenry and Algonquin and try to fill her back up. People were getting upset that it was so low. Yeah, it's super low. Mites grow on chicken butt. <laughs> you know, I picked up the cast net when I was in Ohio, at least the first time in a long time, and I'm no, out of practice. I need to pick one up and go out in my front yard and get back in the groove. Usually I don't throw them until fall. It happens every year. It's like taco after taco I'm throwing. So I get back into that groove. Maybe I need to take a proactive stance this year and get back in the swing of things. Yeah, catfish pretty much eat whatever they can get into their mouth. Strawberry shrimp, pork chop. Shrimp's a killer bait. I'd put it up against anything else except maybe worms. Worms pretty much catches a lot, but the small ones usually come up and steal that stuff. Not even a takedown all night. This is starting to hurt my ego, folks. These you guys are here hanging out with me. KY Catfish. Oh, wait, there we go. You guys see that? That was a channel cat. I've never had a channel cat.
going to give that a couple of minutes, two minutes, see what it is. I, I think that was a channel cat. I don't know why he hit that bullhead. I've never had him do that. That wasn't a flathead, but it didn't look like it. Because I'm thinking it was a channel cat that actually grabbed that bullhead and ripped it off the hook. I'm not here for channel cats, but it'd be cool to put some slime on the deck. Yeah, it was, it was, Freddie, it was, it was definitely a channel. Uh, I don't see flatheads hit like that. Usually, they'll, they'll take them down like that once they're hooked, and he, obviously he isn't hooked. I just, if you guys see me when I uh, take my flashlight out and I point the flashlight up, I don't like pointing it in water, especially in that scenario. So I'll kind of point it up in the air, and then I'll kind of ro rotate it down until, until I can see my line and get a good idea. I mean, I could light up that whole area, but... <laughs> Oh, Becca, <laughs> I want you to type that, too. We're going to grind it out for a little while. I mean, these are good spots that I've been in today. So that just tells me that the bite's not, not going. Not happening. All right, I'm going to check that bait, at least give it a crank, see if I can't get it to come to life or see if it's still there. Oh, wait. The bluegills. Oh, let's give it a second. I hate to disturb things because who knows what's going on down there. That fish that hit that, even if it was a channel, you know, it could still be there. The last thing I want to do is send it on its way when there's more bait for it to choose from. So I like to give it a few minutes. And plus, who knows, maybe the bait's still on the hook and it'll come back for a second try. I don't think it is, though. Maybe next time I come out here flathead fishing, I'll bring some frozen shad with me. At least I'll entertain you guys with some channel cats. <clears throat> Have, like, one rod just for channels. I mean, I've caught flathead on it, too, but usually a pretty easy bet <coughs> using frozen chad for shad no i have it's got me saying chad for channel cats no i'm not on the seven on seven i am not i'm too old to be fishing 12 hours at a crack i mean i do it but i gotta be up for it Plus, you, you guys see, it's, it's it's rough fishing out here. Some guys do really well out here. Um, they got their spots and stuff. Um, I do okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. I do all right out here. I am in the fish a -wish, uh charity. I don't think it's even a tournament. I think it's just, you know, for all the fish we catch. I'll drag baits. That's going to be a hard one. Um. That happens on a Saturday. Uh, I believe it's from 9 to 1 or 9 to 2, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <coughs> that's going to be rough out here to fish. So i got to figure out something. i got to figure out somewhere to fish. You hear guys hear that coyote? You hear that? Let's check that bait. Let's investigate. Uh, that, see, Becca, that rhymes, just like you. Check the bait and investigate.
<laughs> okay, one bait was missing, one bait I cast it off. I just dropped my phone actually in the room there. Just... Dry off my hands before I grab my glasses. Some more time. You'll find him, Dan. Just don't give up, man. Try one spot a few days in a row. See what happens. One that really looks. Find a textbook spot, like I always say. Try it a few days. See if you can squeeze a fish or two out of there and can go from there. These two spots I'm fishing today are quote unquote textbook spots. I've caught fish here before. I've caught fish here all different times of the day. So all we got left to do is hope that the stars align. We can get on one. Some nights are better than others others some are a heck of a lot worse that's for sure mm -mm -mm. so is anybody out live over there tonight or am i the only one troy is back what's going on troy Troy, you just got a big fish, didn't you? I think I saw a picture of you with one on, on Facebook. Big old blue, if I remember correctly. Cool, Jeremy, good luck with that, man. Get you a, a pig. You can tell the difference uh, between a hit and a bait, especially with bluegills. They're kind of the easiest ones. You'll see the, the rod tip flutter. Just think about a, a fish fluttering trying to get away. You can actually see it like telegraphed to your rod. Yeah, it was on a little skinny. It was a little skinny. It was okay, a little skinny. Hey, it's better than what I'm catching tonight, bud. Later, who's leaving? Whiskers, are you leaving? Later, Dan and Troy. If you're going to bed, good night, man. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, everybody's struggling. It, uh, it's that time of year. Fall is a totally different animal. Speaking of fall, I got to pull all my cold weather gear out. Get it ready. It's been a crazy summer, crazy spring. Dan says the 7 7 is no boat uh, to get a bank spot. Oh, yeah, you, no boat. You can't use a boat to get to a bank spot. I got a couple of good spots that I'm not going to burn on live stream. <laughs> if you look at my Facebook thing, you'll see one picture and you'll notice a lot of things in common. It's in front of a bush that gives away nothing. <laughs> You know what's good about this spot right here, besides that there's usually fish here, is I'm literally 
400 yards from the boat ramp. <laughs> oh, did I miss a joke of yours, Becca? Let me see. Stars, star, 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 stars align. Yeah, I could use it. Yeah, I am using StreamYard. I should, you know, I thought Becca was going to come on here, so I, I set it up on StreamYard. I should have just used a, a, a YouTube Live. I've been meaning to try that, see how it works. But this works. The only thing is, you know, the text is kind of small. Yeah, good night, Whiskers and Stripes. I appreciate you. Becca, I was looking for your jokes. Your stars comment was a lot, just a, a, a chant to help me get fish, wasn't it? Hey, Dot, if I missed you. Scrolling back through here, Becca. Hi there, Dot. You connect with us. You get it? Connect the dots? Ah, fishing the on the better in my head. Yeah, welcome to my world, Becca. <laughs> a lot of things. Like, you should go fishing tonight. It sounded better in my head. Uh, Big Mike is streaming. Good. Hopefully he's getting on some fish. I know Ohio's a tough buy. I was there last week. I can, I can uh, confirm that. It's been a tough bite everywhere for some reason. No one's catching any fish. Oh, Big, Big Mike's closing down. Did he get any fish? See, Becca, there's some love. What's going on, Steve Adams? Is it? Yeah, it is late. It is Sunday. He didn't get any either. Yeah, rough, rough. It's rough. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where is Big Mike out of. my hood back up Tennessee yeah you know Memphis even you know that's uh it's rough and they ain't doing good down there hey well turkey have a good night thanks for watching wild I appreciate it but Georgia Tennessee Bad, not bag. <laughs> bad bag, whatever. I'm not marking anything underneath my boat anymore. I was marking bait for a little while. This is just one of them nights. You mean Mid South Outdoors? Is that who you're talking about? He changed the name of his channel to Catfish Karma, if that's who you're talking about. Big Mike is out of his mama. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Man, we should have had a bite now. By now, I'm starting to get discouraged. I ain't gonna lie, folks. Yeah, fish in the mid south. Yeah, that's uh. 
That's Quentin Robbins, right? Yeah, Quentin. Buddy of mine. It's called Catfish Karma now. Check it out. Let me know if it's the same one that we're thinking. If we're thinking of the same one. Good night, Freddy. Have a good night. Have a great week. Oh, no, his name was Mike. Okay. Then I'm not familiar with who you're talking to. Unless it's a chatter, then maybe it sounds familiar. Hey, Brad, what's going on, bud? Tough bite today, man. I hear it was tough for Big Mike, too. Hey, thanks, Troy. I appreciate the, the word of confidence. I'm in a spot. I got the bait. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing anything wrong. I could probably move a little more, but I don't move too much at night. I don't, you know, chasing fish down, and rolling right over them uh, when, as they're on the way to the spot you just left. That's what I'm always worried I'm about doing. So I go to proven spots for the most part. And... I think we. I think that one that took that that bullhead was a definitely a channel cat. Because even a small flathead it didn't, would have inhaled that darn bait so small. What couches were out here trying? Willow, what's up, bud? Oh, he was in chat a few days ago, so it must be one of the chatters. Well, hopefully he's all right. Sometimes people, you know, they got to go do life things. Yep, Troy's right. You got to let them come to you sometimes. Even on a boat, that's true. Like this year with the water being so low, a lot of people were doing really well in the channel. And basically in the channel, you that, Find a little bit of structure that, that they're going to stop at and look for food and wait them out even there. I got a really prime piece of structure, but it's like, I'll say 10, <clears throat> 10 miles south of where I'm at now. And I really don't feel like making a 10, 10 mile ride on this dark river because it is dark as hell. And then have to make the 10 mile ride back. But that's a one fish spot, which is why I didn't launch down there and fish down there. And that's a 2 a.m. by two, by the way. Big Mike lives three and a half hours from J. Fox Hunter. He's in South Tennessee, I live in Northwest Tennessee, on the Cumber on the Cumberland River. That sounds like heaven to me. Becca seems to know I have a weird thing for, for dad jokes. Probably with three nieces and a nephew. Trying to be their favorite uncle. I've succeeded. And I give full credit to dad jokes. Yeah, Troy, same thing. Yeah, this is a nice flathead spot, and they ain't hitting here either. So I'm not discouraged. It is what it is. It's all part of the game. I'm out here talking to you folks. I'm listening to nature and some traffic. I also got to hear the coyotes howling over there. I'm waiting for the coons to come out and get that bait I just launched into the woods over here with the last gas. Good part about it is I had bullheads, and the good thing about bullheads is you don't waste a lot of them. So I'm still going to walk out of this bait rich for the next trip. No, what reservoir are you talking about? 
I was at a reservoir there last week. Maybe we're talking about the same one. We're talking about Hoover. Well, I hope you enjoyed the family at least, and I hope you enjoy the remodeling when it's done. Yeah, if I come out later than next week, we're going to try doing some dragon. Hopefully the channel cats ain't gave up either. Oh, let's see what Dan says. Dan, you know, every now and then we get one of the malls in our backyard sitting on a fence. And I live in a pretty, you know, pretty good suburban area. I don't want to say urban. Well, man, they're loud, so I can see how that would scare the, scare you to death. Oh, there are little ones flopping around over here now. Green runs trying to get away. <laughs> Excuse me. Slow night. Slow night. I didn't know that. <laughs> Becca's clean with the dad jokes. All right, quit staring at the rods. You guys tell me if they bend over, if you can see them. <laughs> I see a big flash behind me. I could use an owl in my backyard. I was just cutting the lawn last week. Went by some daylilies. Poo, like four mice came running out of there. Went and bought one of those bucket traps. Looking forward to testing that thing out. I'm glad we could help, Dan. Hopefully it helps Randy out. I mean, he's got a long road ahead of him. Trust me, someone who has experience with families and, and health issues, it's not an easy one to go. So I try to do what I can to help, which isn't as much as I'd like to, but at least it's something. Good deal. Still 55 watching me. Holy smokes. I love it. Who would think there's all these, these night owls on a Sunday night?
what I should have done is I should have came out last night. I, I, if you guys saw the um, thumbnail for this stream, I actually uh, went to a grad. Well, I kind of said this to my last stream if you weren't there that we had last night. I went to a graduation party, and then afterwards, I had some time. I didn't feel like sitting around at home, so I grabbed my phone and my tripod, and I went out and took a bunch of night pictures for these streams for the future. That was one of them. So, but it was it was dead out here. I should have came out here last night. Uh, not that the bite was any better. I was talking to somebody who was out here last night. He did just as bad, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Dan, you did really good. Run and gun 81. Yeah, nothing's hitting. I think I had a channel cat take a, a small bullhead off. Hey, Avid's in here. I thought maybe you fell asleep, Avid. Where you been, bud? I'm sorry to hear you got to sell your sports to Troy. I just sold my bike. Didn't want to do it. I I did. You do what you got to do sometimes. Good thing is I got, I got some good cash for it at least, you know. That's a good thing about Harleys. They hold their value pretty good. I don't know. Is, would you consider now being a buyer's market for motorcycles like it is for boats? Might be. I was actually holding on to that Harley so I could sell it and use some of that dough for my next boat, but that's not going to happen. Strange days we live in. Strange days. Okay, so you guys always see me in glasses, right? Whenever I'm doing, like, live streams or whatever, they're reading glasses. <clears throat> it's really hard for me to read. Um, but the problem is I bought these new ones because I thought they looked better, but they're a little bit too big. I can't look over them to look at the rods. So you guys are going to see me doing this a lot when I'm looking at the rods or looking at something around the boat. <laughs> I'm going to buy that. It's already sold, Dan. It went. That thing went pretty quick, too. I got exactly what I was asking for. I dropped the price like twice, and it went. Real nice guy out of uh, Milwaukee. So, technically, it went home. Hardcore biker guy. He's uh, one of them straight-edge bikers. So, uh, it, it'll get ridden. It, 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 it'll go to – it went to a good home. So, that made me happy. You know, I had a couple other Harleys prior to that, and I, had, I sold those off slowly, too. So, I had a few at one time, and – can't ride more than one at a time so kind of missed the one i had prior to this i had like number 99 street glide ever made but i got a good load of cash for that but that went to go pay off some stuff so it is what it is <laughs> yeah sturgis is uh actually i think lisa uh, fishing chick was heading out today. Sturgeon's first two weeks in August every year. I've been down there a few times. It's a wild time. A lot of fun. It was getting too popular there at the beginning. When I went a couple of times, it still wasn't. It was big. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't as commercialized. But that was in my younger days. I keep saying that. Nope, no skipjack tonight. I'm using bullheads and bluegills. Actually, we got uh, one of each or two of each on tonight. Sorry to cut you off of that, Dan. Or Troy. Yeah, 
you know, that all <coughs> brings up some good points, you know. <coughs> as hard as you think you got it, everybody's right there with you, man. Everybody has their own struggles through life. Today, my struggle is getting a fish on a hook. That's right, Troy. You'll make it. 50 people still in chat. Awesome. 52. If you guys haven't hit the thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you hit the <clears throat> subscribe button and the bell notification. We'll go from there. Hey, Cody, what's going on? Slow night tonight, bud. We're hanging out, drinking some Diet Coke, enjoying some Takis, which are super salty. Holy smokes. I need to hang out with Aaron and, and LG Bass. Them boys can hang all night. They went quiet on Becca the other night. It was kind of funny. She's like, hello, guys. You still there? Hey, thank you, Cody. Awesome. 134. Fantastic. You guys are going to spoil me with those numbers. Man, that bluegill's still kicking on that blue light. They're not bringing any. They're not bringing any fish to the yard. You know, the other night I was thinking about the night I was out here with Bob. I was thinking maybe all my yapping scared the fish away. What do you guys think? Keep watching that blue one until my eyes are going to start crossing. <laughs> I do remember that, Becca. That was kind of funny. I like they, they did like Avid and they fell asleep. Sorry, Avid, but you do that once in a while. <laughs> No, nope, no cranes yet. You know, it's funny you mention that, uh, Kenneth. Um, when I pulled in to the, the the boat launch that I used today, pardon me for itching my nose, but I got an itch. Um, when I pulled into the place where I launched my boat today, there was a couple of sand hills right on the side of the road. That's the closest I've ever been to them, too. And I didn't think to pull my camera out to take a picture. After I got past them, I was kind of bummed out that I didn't remember to do that. I hope you're right. Brad says, I think talking in a boat brings them in faster. As long as it's good good conversation. There you go. Helps time to pass, that's for sure. 
You still talking about microwave and popsicles? You know, Dan, I do microwave uh, ice cream before I eat it when I pull it right out of the fridge. I'm a big fan of that haagen peanut butter chocolate and butter pecan. Those are probably my two favorites. Yeah, Becca would be killing him. Just kidding. <laughs> There's Matt. What's going on, Matt? How you doing, bud? Hope you're having a good night. Yeah, me too. I've been watching him for a little while. I watched Chunky back in the day under my old username before I started doing YouTube. I'd be like, look at this guy with the glow in the dark rods. Start watching, watching, kicking back, checking it out. I used to watch him quite a bit. I think that was probably an early sub of his. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not kidding, Brad. It really is. I love fishing with new people. I love fishing with people I haven't seen in a while. I do love fishing with my friends, but I mean, the ones I'm talking to every day, you're kind of caught up. It's nice to learn about people, and it's nice to get caught up with old friends, definitely. Some of my favorite times in the boat, or even on the bank. All right, Troy, we'll be here. My bubbler's still going, so my bait ain't going to die. There is Avid. Avid, you still at work, bud, or did you get home? <laughs> Watch time's good. Views are always good. I wonder if I gained any more subs today. That would be cool. One guy we used to fish with, overly annoying, kept grabbing uh, his rod at every little bite so he kept pumping the rod for three hours <laughs> it was priceless <laughs> i have a friend like that who never went flathead fishing and i took him one time and he was just thinking it was just little every little tick everything every time the bait would move he'd get all excited i mean I, it gets my attention but Once he got it, he had, once he caught his first two, he understood. Awesome. Thanks for letting me know, Matt. That's cool. 136 thumbs up. That's fantastic. That's a great night. All right. I got this bag of Takis. I know I've been complaining about it being salty, but there's some, there's got to be something in there because I want to have more. I'm fighting it right now. Ah, okay. Cool. Well, don't get in trouble, bud. And stay safe at work, buddy. All right, we're going to give it a half hour, folks. We're at 1235. See what happens. We've been at this spot to have gotten something by now. I think they're just laid up. Oh, wait, I see a question mark here rolled off the screen. Are they the Fuegos? Here, I'll tell you in a second here. Yep, the Fuegos. Right there, look at that. Is that what you're talking about? Keep seeing all the crazy kids eating these, putting them in pickle jars and stuff. I don't do TikTok. 
But everybody sends me TikToks to check out. <laughs> so, of course, when someone goes to trouble of sending me a link, you're going to look. A lot of TikToks for Takis. Cool. Congratulations, Cody. Yeah, those tournaments help you, man. They'll they'll drum up some, uh, definitely drum up some uh, subscribers. Becca is absolutely an angel. She helps everybody up. Becca, if you message me on Facebook about coming on here, I can't check Facebook while I'm on here, dear. So you need to speak up and chat and let me know if you did. I'm not ignoring you at all. If I was to reshoot the thumbnail for this night, it would be flathead frustration. It'd be me going like this, something like that. Because that's what I'm feeling right now. Hey, Steve Adams. Uh, it says, one thing that I've noticed on live streams fishing for flatheads, everyone seems to cast way out. Cast way out. Where I fish, I always fish uh, right up against the bank. Never over eight feet deep water. Well, Steve, I don't know if you know where I'm at. The, this whole river isn't eight feet deep. Uh, right next to the bank, it's it's maybe a foot deep. I'm literally here, let me let me light up this bank here, and I'll tell you, get a better guess. I've been in in this bright light for so long. Okay, there it is. I'm literally 12 yards from the bank, so technically I am. I'm fishing on a, another ledge, so I got one in the bank and some wood that's back there. Here, I'll light it up. I don't think we're gonna get any fish here. Hold on. Can you guys see that? See the wood back there? Man, that's kind of a cool picture. I'm 12, 15 yards from the bank. I got two in the, I got one uh, in front of the wood, one next to the wood, and I got one, or two, one at the base of the wood, one in the middle of the wood, one to the outside, and one in the channel. So I'm covering a good part of the river. I'm pretty much trying to hedge my bets. I usually do that until I get fish, and then I can zone in on where I think they're at. They're either traveling the ledges or they're traveling in the channel or they're hitting up these wood piles looking for food at night. That's the big possibility. I mean, there's channels and stuff up here that I can fish out in front of, but this is probably the most the highest probability uh, area that I could fish. But I get what you're saying. But I don't think there's a difference. I mean, if there's a fish 100 yards back, you got to cast to it. You don't you don't know until you try there's a fish ten yards by ten yards behind the boat. You got to be you got to have a line out there. So I mean, it, it, I, I don't think that matters too much. Um, depending on the banks you're casting at, I think has a lot to do with it. Um, do I get real close to the banks here? No. Close enough. Like this, I'm maybe five yards off to the side. Maybe ten yards with the second line. Fifteen, and then this one's kind of out in the channel. But the bait's still kicking. Every now and then they'll start kicking. So, I mean, they're, if there's fish and they're active, uh, I, they'll be pretty close. I think Big Mike's done. At least that's what everybody was saying. We drifted line on time under the boat and caught his line and watched him tuck for a big fish for at least an hour before he knows it. I don't know somebody else who did that. No comment. Because uh, they might be watching. Abbott get in trouble? Grab his beard. <laughs> Abbott's a big dude. TikTok needs to be shut down. I kind of agree. Yep, I, I agree. I like the green Doritos, too. I don't eat too much snack food anymore. I used to be a big Doritos fan. I used to be a big eater. Now I hardly ever eat. Like, I didn't have breakfast till 3 in the afternoon today. I had coffee. Hmm. 
end up in the bathroom real quick? <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> Do I have shanty? It depends. <coughs> I'll use a, shanty, a modified shanty Ruber Cooper rig when I'm fishing with a, a float on top. <coughs> and I want the bottom of it to hit the hit the bottom of the river. So uh, uh, the float's just there to hold it, to suspend the bait off the ground. Um, I'll use a Santee rig when I'm uh, uh, when I'm dragging bait sometimes, if I want to control where I want the bait to be in the water column. Um, a lot of times I'll use Santee Cooper rigs when I'm uh, um, fishing for channel cats in this little local reservoir that I fish at. But out here, if I'm not using a, a float, I, I'm, I'm using the, uh, the standard rig, so Carolina. Then I'm a yard off. Who knows? Could be. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Becca. Oh, we're gonna. I'm like I said. I'm probably gonna wrap it up in a half, uh, twenty minutes now. So we'll get you next time, dear. I always enjoy having your help on here. Am I in Camp Crystal Lake? It's funny that you mention that. The city of Crystal Lake is literally five minutes from here. See, and now I'm hearing now I'm hearing tail slaps. You gotta be kidding me. Next time I come out here, I need to bring somebody with me so I can get some cringy thumbnail shots <laughs> and me in the red boat. Good deal, Steve. We're on the same page then, man. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right. What are you doing in Crystal Lake, Jesse? You know you're right by my house, buddy. Are you at work? I didn't know you worked in Crystal Lake. You work really close to me, Bill. I'm really close to where I live. I didn't know you worked a night shift. George Ray, what's up, buddy? Ooh, I've never had those, Tiger. Those sound good. See, now we're seeing some bait marking. Like mid column. Yeah, I've never heard of them either, but they sound good. You work for Werner on Terracotta. I think I know where that's at. I think I might have even used to have plowed that parking lot. Terracotta. Yeah, you're real close to me. I'm at like I'm at like Miller and Randall. I don't know if you go home that way to get on a get on 90 or if you go to 47. And fishing frustrations came in here. Hey, there they are. It must be a Oh, look at that. Somebody just gave me a super chat. Who was that? Did I miss that? Bob, thanks Bob. I appreciate it. Meet me at Blarney's for a brew. <laughs> Several makers. There we go. <laughs> Hit the mark. Come on, man. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> man, I haven't been to Blarney's in forever.
I used to go to that famous Freddy's more, actually. They had some pretty good grub. It was kind of like a cafeteria-style bar. But, Bob, I really appreciate you. Thank you for the super chat. No better way to, to, to get towards the end of a night. Also known as Knack. All right. I actually know somebody who uh, used to be a manager over at Knack. Then he moved to Texas. I don't even know. He lived across from me. His name's Jose. He, I forgot his last name. I have to look on my Facebook friends list. But yeah, I know where that's at. You're close. You might even have known him. I don't know how long he was a manager there, though. What did you want to ask here, Cody? Did I miss your question? I'm sorry if I did, but let me scroll back through here. <laughs> Becca's talking about tail slaps. Cody, oh, there's Cody. Uh, so how far on average... Well, if fish follow was sent to a trail to a bait. All right, now, my opinion, channel catfishing, not necessarily flathead fishing. This is how I channel catfish. I have a bank spot, and I've had live streams from there, and it'll take me an hour, maybe even two. If I can get it, uh, baits into the channel, I can pull them out of the deeper water with, like, sneaky shad or even... Uh, stink bait. I know you guys are going to be like, stink bait? He's using this. Stink bait works in the heat of summer. That scent travels. It, it's it, They'll follow it quite a ways if, if you get their attention. And I can pull them out of like 20 foot of water into like flats, like three feet, four feet by this one spot. And uh, it, it just takes time. Um, for some reason in the mornings, I can't get them to do that. Later in the afternoon, I can um, like my last live stream that I did, that was a bank one that was from that spot. It was funny. I live streamed for two hours. Um, I had baits out there. I was hoping I'd get on them in like half, in like an hour, 90 minutes. I ended the live stream after I got the first fish because I had to go home. I had to do a show with Lyle, I believe. And as soon as I shut it off, I got a second one. And then I got a miss on the last one before I was pulling them in. So my opinion is if you have current and it's the baits dissolvable enough in the water to travel without getting diluted too much but then again catfish have incredible sense of taste it's not so much smell um you can draw them in from pretty far away but it it, it depends that's that that answer that you keep getting in most complex situations where things can change All right, let me get back down here. Sorry, I had to read up and get Cody's question. Thank you again, Bob. I really, again, I do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Well, stinky or, or full of flavor. You got to get that, those amino acids in the water. Because I don't know so much as if they smell, but they can taste. They taste with their whole body, pretty much. Wow, so slow. This is painful sometimes. Yeah, I like kimchi. Kimchi's good stuff. Sunny's, there you go. That's right, uh, Jesse does a lot of stink bait videos on his channel. The stuff works. Jesse, you need to quit using those treble hooks. You need to order some of those fuzzies from Team Catfish. You won't uh, gut hook as many fish. I think you'll be happy with them too. They hold on to the bait pretty good. Maybe I'll start chumming with stink bait. Hey, you know what, Dan? Do that. Go out there, get you some of those fuzzies that I just mentioned from Team Catfish, and try it. 
if there's little fish out there, that means there's a possibility there's bigger fish out there. So why don't you start by finding out where the fish are? That's a good way. There he is. What's going on, Aaron? How you doing, bud? Catfish regulator is in the house. Saggy bottom boy, president. Yeah, I've tried Secret 7 is what I use. Or is it the sudden impact? The stuff with the fiber in it. Maybe it's the sudden impact. I use that, especially for channels in that one spot. I keep a, you know, in the summer, I used to keep a, a, a jug of it in my truck uh, because I'd like to stop on lunch break or something, throw a line out, boom, have a little fun, catch a little channel cats on a Zepco 33. That's always a good time. Skywalker DFS. It depends. Do you have to cast longer, Skywalker? If you don't have to cast, 12 foot rods a lot to handle. I mean, uh, Avid uses 12 foot rods and longer, I think, sometimes. Uh, but he's fishing big, big rivers and he wants to get the baits way, way out. So, again, the answer is depends. Can you cast farther with a long rod? Yes. Are they harder to handle? Yes. Are they only in two piece? Yes. Sometimes three. Things like that you got to think of. Longer rod, if you're going to do those kind of casts, you're going to want a higher capacity spool or you're going to want to use braid maybe to get more capacity on the line, depending on how far you're talking about casting. So why don't you let me know in chat how far you're, you're casting. And if Avid's able to listen and answer, I'm sure he'll uh, chime in on it. So yes, because the lake is so low, all of the fish are in uh, the middle of the lake. Okay, that makes sense. Exactly. You want to cast to where the fish are at. We had that conversation a little while ago where, you know, you, you, people are casting away from the bank, towards the bank, you know, 200 feet away from the boat or the dock, right next to the dock. It, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you're on the fish. And who's just, you know, it's also cool to cast a long way, you know. Let's see what else. Bait bags work for sharks in Florida. It has to work for baby sharks as well. You're probably right, Brad. Yeah, I think that's what they use in that, that Team Catfish stuff, whether it's the Secret 7 or Sudden Impact. I forget which one's which. But it's it's almost like that. Oh, 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 oh. This blue one just kind of went down funny. It might have just been the bait. It probably was. I keep hoping this is one of the nights where it's nothing, 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 and then boom, you get that one fish. Cool. Yeah, you guys did really good. I was tuned in. Or were you? <laughs> did you not remember? At least for most of it. Yep, 7-7 seven seven on the 20th. People were talking about it already. It's going to be cool. Later, Will. Have a good night. I'm going to give it a little while yet. See, that what happens is I just had that little, whether it was bait or whether it was a little tug, it gets me all excited. It gets me wondering, well, what is up? There you go. Hitting the green. I haven't played golf in forever either. Yeah, do if you want to weigh it, weigh it. Don't be shy. Weigh it until you weigh them until you don't want to weigh them anymore. I'm not, I, I used to weigh them all when I'd catch them. And what's funny is I still can't guess a weight for the life of me. 
I get pretty close. Not real close. I'm now I'm now I'm making stuff up, so And I will. <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> So, Aaron, how long of a ride do you have to fish with with Tom? You drive quite a ways, right? All right. Steve Adams says, here's one for you fisher people. My son tagged a sturgeon three feet long at Vicksboro, uh, Vicksboro, Mississippi. Three months later, the fish was caught. In the Missouri River, 600 miles away. Wow, that's pretty cool. Tags don't lie. That's insane. Three months, 600 miles. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to highlight that Skywalker. <laughs> Out of respect for the baby's mamas. Oh, you can get there in an hour? Oh, that's not bad. For some reason, I thought you were driving further than that. I agree, Brad. They're just so dense. I mean, a five-pound channel cat next to a, 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 a flathead of the same size will probably outweigh it, like 40%, maybe 30% heavier. I don't know if it's just the density of the meat or if it's the thicker belly meat that they have. Green one's going bananas. Right now I'm doing my Jedi mind trick staring at that green one. Don't want it to bend. Nope. At least I got to watch the bait move the rods today. Wow, this has been the worst night in a long time. Uh, 30 pound flatheads in this river are my favorite size to catch. I mean, it's a big fish. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but they I think they fight the hardest for their size. They definitely do. Yeah, no kidding. You guys are on Kerr, right, Aaron? That's a heck of a waterway. Wait a minute. Tom has a boat. Who puts some rod holders on that sucker and go? Them bass boats, I got that nice front deck. You can get two of your folding chairs up front. Nothing would change. Only you guys would be mobile. Nothing wrong with channel cats. I love channel cats, buddy. Skywalker, I, I adore them to death. Probably one of the best, they're real good fighting fish. They're cra crazy little berserker catfish, I call them.
clue what happened there, folks. If the fishing was better, I'd really get used to fishing the Sunday nights because it is dead calm out here. All right, back to the 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 to Aaron's conversation with the boat. Yeah, doesn't uh, LG Bass has a boat? There's a baby mama comment. I'm not putting up. I've never caught a 50 pound blue, so I can't compare to caught a 58 pound flathead. Still looking for that 40 pound class to fill my sticker hole in right there on the back of my boat. And I thought for sure that was a bite. Really did. There was nothing there. Uh, he has a ranger that hasn't been started in a year. About 50K. He will not fish for catfish in it. I'll tell him to sell it and buy a catfish boat. <laughs> doesn't do any good if he's not using it, right? He doesn't want to get slime on the carpet. Here's a secret. To, oh, uh, 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 come on. Come on. Look at this blue one. There's a bluegill on there. It, The bluegill's been on that hook way too long to be just acting like that. I did hook him pretty shallow. There's something walking around here. Probably a raccoon found that bullhead I launched into the woods. Bates are still kicking. Now, where were what were we talking about? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mm. We were talking about that boat. That's right. Yes, you can, Skywalker. We're gonna leave that comment alone. Rhonda, how are you? One to two pound catfish plate. That's a meal. Maybe I should have tried cut bait tonight. Oh, I'm getting cold. <laughs> Go home, get under those covers. It's going to feel good. Oh, yeah, it does wash out easier than scales. Now, here's the thing about catfish slime. When you get it on a carpet, let it dry. They get a stiff bristle brush and brush it out. And then vacuum it. That's all you got to do with catfish slime. As far as blues go, I don't know. Them blues are pretty slimy. <laughs> Being I just caught my first one, I, did, I knew they were slimy, but I didn't realize how boogery slimy they are. Let's see, what did Becca say in here? I need to come to have a talk with those. Fish, Mr. Mark. Yes, you do. 
tell them to get on the hook. Uh, I'm trying. Not gonna happen. <laughs> does he still? Does he ever go out bass fishing, Aaron? And how is the bass fishing on Kerr? Is it? I didn't even see if you confirmed that he was on Kerr. David Martin, what's up? Blue is the same way. I let it dry, brush it off. The stiff brush, vacuum the dust. There you go. David, I'm honored you're still here, buddy. I hope you're feeling better. Hope your back is getting healed up real quick. I saw those pictures, you guys, you and uh, uh, Big Nasty fishing with uh, with Palmetto for those red ears. That was pretty cool stuff. Lake Gaston, that's right. I apologize. Slimy, slimy, bone bummy. <laughs> Fee, five, five, me. <laughs> they slimy. <laughs> Thirty minutes from Kerr, so you guys are close. I wonder how foggy it is out here. My dash is all fogged up. Oh yeah. Holy smokes, check this out behind me. You guys see that? Just tell me that doesn't look cool. See, this is why I didn't want to go 10 miles south on the river to go fish that one spot. I'd be driving home in this stuff. And that does not look like fun. Yeah, that, that would be a cool thumbnail. You know, I'll snap a picture before I leave. I actually have some video of this happening. I meant to do a intro to my live streams. Maybe we'll still make that happen. But that is pretty cool. All right, turn off them lights, Mark. Quit staring into the abyss. <laughs> it looks cool, but you got to remember that's what's. That's what's blown across this boat, getting me and everything else wet. What the? Oh, 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 oh. We're hooked up. That feels like a channel cat, but I'll take it right now. If it's a flathead, I'll be surprised. Let me get some light on here. Maybe that light didn't scare him off. All right. Oh, come on. Let's swim towards the fast. The little guy. Whatever it is, I hit a bullhead. Man, that, that it pulled drag so fast. It felt like. Here, let's see if I can help you guys out here. You guys see better like that? Tied up with some lines here. On the up to lose. Oh, flathead. We got one. Let's try not to lose it. It's barely hooked. It's a little guy, but it's a flathead. All right. Woohoo! Right on. All right, I'm going to turn this light off so I'm not blinding myself here. Hopefully, you guys saw that. 
It's in the net now. It's a done deal. I'll show you guys it in a second. Oh, barely hooked. Right in the top. Oh, he's hooked pretty good. Oh, he's hooked really good. He won't go nowhere. All right, let me turn off this light here. Can you guys see that? Woohoo! Let me turn on this light. I'll blind myself for you guys to see how it looks. There we go. Flathead. Mission accomplished. We got one. Nice little guy. Little dude. Oh my goodness. I've been waiting for you all night. There we go. He's got sharp teeth, too. Not sharp, but you know what I mean. Coarse. There we go. Do the Dieter Millhorn. Oh, little dude. It's got to be, I don't know, 10 pounds, maybe. 8 pounds. All right, guy. All right, we're going to let him back. Peace. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you don't know how happy that makes me. I'm going to turn this light off because I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I thought that was a channel cat for sure, the way he was thrashing around. Shows you how much I know. All right. Flathead on the boat. I told you, right before I was thinking about packing it up, that was on a bullhead. All right, let me wipe my hands off. Put on my glasses. I knew there was one in there. See, I can't catch a flathead. Woohoo! All right, let's see what's happening in chat. Fish on. There we go. I'd love to see it. Right on, Becca. Oh, now I don't feel so bad. It was a dink, but it's a fish. <laughs> uh, we got one. Amen. At what time here? Uh, 114. I guess we'll stay till two. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it, man. Awesome. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, give me a thumbs up now for that. I'm going to turn off this. Oh, got to turn the red lights back on. You know what's funny, though? They say they don't like light, but what happened? I got that hit right after I turned off the light. Something to think about, right? You guys saw it yourselves. Just heating up, Bob. Yeah, I think you're right, man. Your super chat did it, bud. That in combination with Becca's... Uh, I'm going to put my hat back on. With Becca's poetry and, and humor. Uh, hey, it's a start. It's a nice. It works for me. Hey, cheers. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, I'm happy David Martin got to see me catch a flathead, actually. That's kind of cool. See, grind it out. Sometimes it helps. But this is a good spot. I know this spot. I'm not a big spot fisherman, but I know this is a good spot. So if they weren't going to hit here, I know there was something definitely going on with this weather, turning them off. <laughs> if it's a talker, it's a female. I would never say anything like that. Oh. Um, but that thing pulled drag like right away. I thought, you know, I don't know if you guys saw me when it hit. I looked around because I thought my trolling motor was turning. It sounded like my trolling motor was turning left to right. But then again, I could have had the drag turned down a little bit because I was I was dragging with that line. So. Hey, what's going on, Ma Rob? You must be getting up for work, bud. You just missed my only flat hit of the night. Maybe a 10, 12, I don't know, 10 pound or whatever. I don't know, it's, it's about the A big. Maybe 24 inches. But man, it, it had to been young because I, I don't remember ever feeling them have such sharp pads. Usually I don't even bother with them. 145 likes. Cool. That's awesome. 
52 people still in chat. <laughs> See the blue one, Dawson? That blue one's got that bluegill on there. I'm actually surprised that that bluegill's still alive. Usually they don't last as long as a bullhead. <clears throat> a fish is a fish. Yep. They're all uh, river. All flatheads are river monsters to me. I don't care what anybody says. Man, I'd catch a little one out of worm. I'd be a happy dude. Especially after that night. That was how long have we been streaming? That was four hours and 20 minutes of grinding it out. That's what the flathead bite can be like out here on the Fox. But if you're persistent, you, you, you stick to the spots you know or, or the textbook stuff that you know, you can usually put one on a boat. And if not, it's a long ride. <laughs> Thank you, Becca. Uh, headed to work. I Have a good day at work, Rob. Thanks for checking in, man. I'm going to give it another. We'll give it a little more time. <clears throat> I don't think I'll catch another one, so but still. I'm kinda I'm kinda hyped up now. I am hyped up. Fish and chick, what's going on? Did you make it to South Dakota yet? We're fishing. You just missed my first flathead of a four hour and twenty minute stream. <laughs> Thanks, Pork Chop. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. Hey, Abbott, did you see that fish, Abbott, or are you running rounds? Here's something for you, Skywalker. I used to fish every night. <laughs> did that for a long time. Long time. <clears throat> you running around? I finally put that flat, a flat end in a boat. Little guy, but it still counts. Grinding it out. Okay, let's see what fishing chick said. I'm in Elephant Butte Lake. Just went fishing uh, with Chris Flores this morning. Awesome. Hopefully he put you on some fish. I did see a post of his where he was showing him moving along in the boat. I didn't realize that was you. Good for you. It sounds like it'd be an awesome afternoon off the morning. All right, let's see what David says. Oh. David says, Mark, I have better luck uh, with my LED lights on. It draws bait. Yeah, that makes sense. Keys, leave it on. Leave it on. Flashing the bank with a spotlight, yes. Leave on, no issues uh, with scaring fish. Huh? Huh? Today, that made me a believer in that. The only problem here with the um, is because it's kind of urban area, you know? So, like, now I could probably get away with it. But any other time, if I'm fishing by houses and stuff, they, they come out and bitch and moan quite a bit. They get all bent out of shape. And not uh, usually that I care, but I just would rather avoid the trouble. Oh, thanks, Skywalker. I'm glad you uh, subscribed as well. Hey, I'm glad you guys are here to interact with. I really am. Flathead, flathead, do it again. We want to see him put another one in. Let's say it again. Flathead, flathead, do it again. We want to see him put another one in. There we go. Uh, big, little, and small. Big, little, and small. I like them all. Hey, I like that too. Uh, we're going to give it like 20 more minutes. I'm not even going to rebate that other one because I'm like in the wood already. I should recast the second one because I think, no, actually it didn't. I managed to get that fish around it. Yeah, but he was a feisty little guy. For as slow as they're biting, I was surprised that he hit. It could be the witch, you know. We might get in another one. You never know. I was surprised it was a flathead the way it was fighting, to be honest with you guys. Because he was, he was thrashing. He was turning. And they usually don't do that. Especially in five feet of water, they don't.
Thanks to Jose for donating the bullheads to tonight's live stream. You're the man. Because he's going to call me, ask me how I did. I'm going to have to tell him four hour and 15 minutes and check it. So hopefully he'll see the, the shout out too. Epic. What's going on, buddy? Not sleeping? You just missed another little baby shark. Got a flathead on the boat. After four hours and 15 minutes of grinding, finally came on a little baby bullhead. But it's a fish. Rhonda likes catfish sandwiches. I got some channel cat fillets in the fridge. I might have to cook up. You know, I was thinking... Uh, making that up tomorrow just to get even with these catfish. <laughs> I'll do that from time to time. Or here, you want to hear something else that I do that's pretty funny? Uh, it's kind of petty on me too. If I'm out and I have a, a long, hard night and not catching any fish, which happens to me, today you almost witnessed it. I'll have to go bluegill fishing the next day just to remind myself I still know how to work a rod and reel, maybe catch a fish or two. Well, that's a good way to end the night. Not that we're ending right this second, but soon. So, Epic, can you not sleep or are you getting ready to go do some work? Well, actually, it might be too early unless you're, you're not working. You're working for yourself now. I know that. 123. Takedown. Yeah, that was a good takedown. It actually was. I thought it was. I don't know if you heard when I said I thought it was my trolling motor acting up. It sounded like it was actually turning. And then I, I look, I didn't see anything. I look back and my rod bent over. Well, that bull had pretty much kicked all night. Come on, I love him. He was right up there in the wood, too. Hey, Bob, thank you again. <laughs> all right, I will bait up. <laughs> I'll cast out just for you, bud. How can I, how can I deny these that? <clears throat> All right. I'll let you pick. You had a bullhead or a bluegill on there, Bob. I recommend. I recommend the bullhead. <laughs> let me know when you figure it out. Leader feels good. All right. Have a good one, Tim. Get some sleep. 4.30 is around the corner. I'm going to turn them lights back on so I can see where I can cast. And we'll get it out there. Hey, A. Farley 17. Uh, well, I'm fishing on the Fox River, northern Illinois. And we'll highlight that. Back and pull and get this one cast out.
had some money shot right there. That's right. I just make the bait off of this one. There's somebody taking a look at what I'm doing. So we're we bait this one too. that bluegill was too good to be true take a look folks remember i was telling you man that thing's kicking for a long time it wasn't kicking it's been getting chewed on look at that my bad i should have known better
right, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to keep three in there for now. I kind of got them stacked in there to where I can't get another one in without causing some chaos. So we'll give it a few minutes. If I need to put another one out, I will. Let's see what we're, I'm missing here. I'm going to turn that light off. <laughs> I think we might have to do that. <laughs> Right now, I want to get some more fish on the line. <laughs> Rhonda, I like the way you think. Mm. Hey, Farley. How did you do? Almost. Yeah, any luck? Small cats. I'm not having a great night. I'm having an okay night. At least we got one. Oh, what was that? So, you know, every time I hear something, I'm going to go crazy. See that green bullhead's going like mad? I think this one on the red one found a place to hide. I'm kind of worried about that. Because I got that one, like, right in the junk. Which is where the fish are, so. Fins and finds. What's going on? Hey, you just missed a fish. We got one. <laughs> got a flat, a smaller one, but we got one. Did it? So I couldn't do that when you were, were out here with me. We tried though. I think if we just, I still think if we just stayed out a couple more hours, we could have got on them. I was actually getting ready to call it a night now, and boom, we hooked up. And so now we're here for a little while longer. <laughs> when he's a man, nobody catches them. He sure can. <laughs> okay, now the pressure's on me, Rhonda. Easy. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. I did hear something squirrel. Thank you very much, hey, Farley17. I ain't gonna lie, I was pretty I was pretty surprised. Fish is a fish. Sorry about that, folks. <clears throat> All right, we're giving it till 2 a.m., I think I said, right? Yeah, 2.10. <laughs> Thanks, Abbott. I like to think I'm keeping you guys company just like you guys are keeping me company. So. I should have sent back a link now that we're going to stay out a little longer. Well, 20 more minutes. All right, that the one I caught that flathead on, I, I caught on an Uncle Lou's medium heavy casting rod uh, with uh, uh, that was with the uh, Abu Garcia. Pro Rocket Black Edition, Abu Garcia Holler, it's your boy. Um, uh, running suffix 32 braid, 65 pound, uh, down to a swivel snap, sink or slide, 50 pound suffix mono leader. I'm running about 8, in, eight to 12 inch leaders tonight. To, uh, and that one I got on that uh, um, Eagle Claw 197. Man, that hook didn't want to let loose for nothing. Good hook. Got a good hook set. Got the fish in the boat. After I tried to get that hook out there, I don't think I was uh, <laughs> kind of. I know I said that before, but <laughs> hey, we'll see what happens. I'm not making any promises. Sure. 
should have brought some coffee. One of the reasons why I was thinking about calling it, besides it was being so slow, is I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold as heck. <laughs> Surprising how the, the ice fishing Illinois boy uh, uh, <laughs> gets cold when it's 60 or 58 degrees out. I'm just not used to it. <laughs> 147 likes. Awesome. 41 watching. Very cool. Still can't get over how sharp that thing's pads were. I'm not used to that. Usually they're pretty worn out, worn down here, even at that size. All right, they're both moving now. All the baits. Maybe someday. Alicia, are you out fishing now? Or was that just today? I thought you meant today. You said got another one. Are you out right now? If you are, good for you. 14 ounces or 0.14 pounds? 14 ounces, it's just under a pound. That's a decent sized fish. <laughs> point that's me the wrong place 14 pound chunky style <laughs> man everybody's giving chunky a hard time about his weights <laughs> give me that <laughs> oh good for you cool uh oh I got a cheerleader in chat never had my own cheerleader thank you Becca. Right, we're up to an R. Wait, give me an R. Okay. We'll get out here and do some more lives. I need to get some videos done, but these lives are fun. And I get out to fish. You know, it's funny. Tomorrow morning, I do have my live show tomorrow night. Having uh, the Wisconsin fishermen. Kyle Tyree, great guy out of the great state of Wisconsin. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Standard. Check it out. You might like it. I like doing interviews. I like talking to people that fish just like me. Can you tell? I'm yapping like, like crazy all night tonight. Oh. Oh, We've got to finish the cheer here. Used to fish till dawn, sitting underneath the Bay Bridge, South Pistake, uh, hunting walleye. Big cats in there, yep. Oh, Bob, so you are local, that's right. We're up to an R. Give me a K. <laughs> that spells Mark. Hey, that's me. I guess I never had a cheerleader. I don't know what to say. Uh Think someone said she wanted to do a seven to seven? <laughs> Flathead Slayer. <laughs> hey, painting services by Steve. Thanks, bud. I appreciate the super chat. Really do. I'm not big on saying boom just because I don't feel it. I don't know. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just not me. 
very appreciative though. You have no idea. How you doing, Steve? Uh, yeah, it's still on. We finally got a flat in in about like 20 minutes before I was going to wrap it up. So uh, we're still here. <laughs> Not a monster, but it was a fish. We got the bait. And how can I turn the crowd down? <laughs> the people in chat. Is that a new uh, icon or logo you got, Steve? It's kind of hard for me to see here, but I think it looks pretty good. Is it like a bird of some sorts? I could be wrong. You'll have to forgive me if I am. Yeah, I'm pretty much soaked, guys. <laughs> And if Steve is wondering why I'm soaked, take a look behind the boat. You ready? That's rolling right across my boat. Oh, you like that, Alicia? <laughs> it does look cool. Kind of creepy and cool at the same time. Looks like flathead heaven to me. Water temp is 76 degrees. Chad Nolte, what's going on? Oh, we got one in the boat, Chad. Uh, a little guy. Maybe, uh, I'm going to guess right around 10. I didn't weigh it. But it was a pretty decent fish. Fought like a channel cat. I was kind of surprised when I saw that big flat mouth come out of the water. Happy at the same time. Well, go ahead and put them on there, Bob. Yeah, bath water is pretty warm. Like I said, that's the very reason why I didn't go... 10 miles south on the river to one spot I kind of, oh wait, I got spiders crawling on me just saw him out of the corner of my eye wonder where he came from nowhere near any trees at least not where they could jump on me cool, congratulations on the 5 pound channel thank you Chad very much bath water is right Bob Steve, Steve, 499, Steve, Steve, this is his rhyme. He just woke up, and and here he came. To share his time with Mr. Mark's fame. I wouldn't say fame. <laughs> you know, when everybody gives me praise and stuff like that, it makes me feel uncomfortable, just so you guys know. Web flying, he probably was, Pop. <laughs> yeah, Becca is the bomb diddly. See what I mean? I'm shining. You can see that up here. It's it, This is what's rolling over me. Should have had my rain gear on. Look at that. It looks cool, doesn't it? So flathead on the Uncle Steve's rod. So that means I got three on him so far, and I got over 40 channel cats on him. So I think I did him proud. I'm giving him a workout. I should be able to give him a good review. I did catch it on live bait. Absolutely. It's all I've been using tonight. I had one I had one bluegill that seemed like it was lasting forever, Chad. I'm like, it didn't make sense. And the people in ch chat will confirm this. I'm like, wow, that's Excuse me, that guy's a champ. It just keeps kicking it. It turns out I was a turtle. I pull it out to recast it, and it's yeah, only half there. So, Yep, caught it on a bullhead. Little bullhead. So I got three bullheads back out there now. See if we can't get on another one. Ooh, that got me all excited. Even warmed me up a little bit. 
Uncle Lou's rods. Sorry, Uncle Steve's. Uncle Steve, there you go. Maybe you should have some Uncle Steve rods. Rod services by Steve. Rods by Steve. There you go. You can join the rod wars. Man, it's late. I'm excited. Forgive me, guys. <laughs> Two passions fishing. What's going on? I'm on break here at work. I uh, wish I was out there having a good night, friend. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for, for coming in. I appreciate it. Two passions. Still got 49 people. It is literally, it's Sunday night, 140, 150 in the morning, Central Standard Time. We got all these people. I am uh, anchored up, Mr. Rob Mack. Like damn turtles, I caught a monster soft shell last week. Taking these flatheads, taking these flatheads to the gym, pump them up so they can swim. Straight to you. Uh, I, it just scrolled. Straight to you to your bait and grab a hold, so that future stories. To this be told. Arg. It's like a pirate's poem. Yeah, Aaron, if you're in here, man, or Becca can tell you too. He, she's part of it. I think it's going to be on, on her channel maybe. So. I didn't even touch that sandwich yet. I told you guys I barely ever eat anymore. I had like like eight takis and that's it. I'm knocking these Diet Cokes down like they're in nobody's business. Thank you, pork chop. Oh, red one. Did you guys see that? Aaron, they're looking for information on the seven on seven. You might have some more contenders. Who was asking? Bob was asking. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Steve. I like doing them. I just don't like doing them and not catching fish, to be honest with you guys. I really don't. And I grind a lot. I really do. Everything I've learned was from grinding. Grind, 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 grind. I've had people call me and offer me like advice on where to fish and stuff. And you can ask them. I'll turn them out. I'll turn them down. Because for me, you know, it, it's 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 the whole learning experience. It, it absolutely is. And, and if I can maybe get an audience of people who feel the same way, that like going through all the, the grind that I do. Hey, you guys are more than welcome to come along for the ride. I got no problem with that. But I'm not like on a premium, premium waterway. I mean, when I was up in Mendota, that was fun. We put some fish in the boat, some good fish in the boat there. And I'd go back up there, but now's not the time of year to go. And the next time of year to go, it's going to be really cold out there. And I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. I'm getting too old for that stuff. At least on a boat, I am. Uh, seven to seven is a bank fishing only tournament with a three lot limit. Starts at 7 p.m., adds at 7 a.m. You also can't take a boat to a bank spot. Correct, Aaron, I believe is the rule. Beck will back me up on this. Fish seven, three lot limit, bank, no boat, no pay lakes. Prize for most catfish, biggest catfish. Hey, Aaron, if I can get my hats before then, I'm going to find out hopefully on Tuesday. I'll, I'll shoot you a couple for the prize, or I'll ship a couple out for you for the tournament, bud. All right? 
I just am having a hard time. Either the guy doesn't have the stuff in stock or I just can't get around to get them ordered and stuff. Either it slips my mind or I'm, I'm, I'm keep putting it off for other stuff. Or it's like the weekend. I mean, today I could order it, but they're not open on the weekend. So. so hopefully I can get you a couple. Yeah. Cool, that'll work. Are they jumping, Alicia? It doesn't matter, whatever works, man. I'm just trying to help out. I've been so low on and out of stock for so long, I haven't been able to give. <laughs> Excuse me for yawning. You had a little boat, don't you, Alicia? Weren't you saying you got a little 14-footer or 12-footer or something like that? Or am I mistaken? Which wouldn't be the first time. Cool. Well, be careful out there. There's stripers by it. You're probably on some pretty big water. <laughs> I guess so. You do see him quite a bit. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that hat. I do have to admit I am pretty partial to them and this hoodie's pretty darn nice too I like it it's one of the performance hoodies too easy to clean fairly warm actually Uh, oh, excuse me. I quit yawning in your guys' faces. Sorry about that. Come on, one more fish. All right, Chad, thanks for stopping by, buddy. I appreciate it. Have a good night at work. Uh, I don't know if I'll be here at your 4.30 break. <laughs> I like the way you think. I like the <laughs> the confidence you have in my ability to stay up that late tonight. Uh... Chad? Oh, the other Chad. I'm not Chad. Hmm. 
Standard Island cookies. One drink, one album, one food. Okay. Uh, one drink. Like, you want my favorite drink? Have to be like a rye whiskey. Bourbon isn't bad either. Uh, album. That's so hard. I'm like a big music fanatic. That one I'm going to have to pass on for right now. Let me think. Of one food, I'd like a good sandwich. I mean, like a really good sandwich. Or steak. They're good ones. Let's see. Uh, back to the album one. Yeah, it'd have to be steak. All right, the album. There's so many. I mean, I listen to, like, every genre of music. You hear the Coyotes, guys? Let me see. Okay, I'm a metalhead from way back. So, uh, let's see. Uh... Have to be Rain and Blood by Slayer. That's a good one. Uh, like best album out of the '70s. Let's do it that way. Have to be like uh, like Fleetwood Mac's greatest hits. The Door Fleetwood Mac. Uh, let's see the '80s. Whew. Well, it'd have to be like a Metallica album out of the '80s. Like Ride the Lightning. Uh, the '90s. I don't know, being a Chicago boy, I'm pretty fond of the Smashing Pumpkins and the Nirvana stuff, even though they killed pretty much metal. So there's a start. See, it's hard to it's hard to pick. <laughs> Why are you surprised, Bob? <laughs> is that the scream from Rain and Blood, Becca? Tell me it is. Please tell me it is. You <laughs> Oh, no, that's you doing uh, the coyotes. You did hear them. <clears throat> one more. Oh, one more fish. Okay, I agree. We should get one more. I keep telling her that. Favorite food. Well, I mean, not just any sandwich. Like a good Italian sub. I'm not talking any sandwich. It's got to be fancy with all the fixings and stuff. But a steak, you can't go wrong with a steak. And I'm not a, I do a lot of grilling. I do a lot of cooking at home. Crab has got to be one of my favorite meals. You know, and then the sandwich stuff, I can probably uh, trace that back to back in the day when I was a kid. Um, it was commonplace, like we would have company over, like my uncles and stuff, uh, who aren't really my uncles, but I would call them uncles. And they'd uh, we'd have like a normal standard dinner, and then they'd sit down and watch some hockey or something. They'd have some cocktails, and by the end of the night, my mom's fixing sandwiches for everybody, and that was usually the highlight of the night. So they, that's probably how come they have a, uh, a soft place in, in my heart and probably up there is one of my favorite for Country and classic album. Uh, my favorite country album, it would have to be, oh. I, I could go easy and go like Folsom Prison, or I could go with anything from John Prine, like his best hits. I would consider him country. He's more folksy. Um, what are their great country albums? Alabama's greatest hits. You can't go wrong with that. Um, oh, Sturgill Simpson is the man. There you go. How do you like them answers? I've been listening to a lot of Sturgill lately. Kit Mando Outdoors, what's going on? Classic album, it would have to, like, I already mentioned Fleetwood Mac. Um, Steve Miller, that's, like, iconic. The most famous person, nobody knows what he looks like. Uh... 
I mean, I, I like the Stones better than the Beatles. I don't hate the Beatles. Uh, Black Sabbath. Oh, hello. Triple Tucker, BLT, and Pork Chops. There you go. See, nothing wrong with that. Cody stirred up my coyotes. <laughs> Willie Nelson. Gotta love Willie. You ever hear that song by Willie Nelson and uh, Seven Spanish Angels? Who is that with? Oh, my God. I can't remember the the guy who actually wrote the song. Ray Charles. That's an awesome tune. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I am Iron Man, pretty much. Actually, but some of my favorite Black Sabbath songs, if we're going to get into it, be like Sabra Cadabra. And not because I, that was one of my favorite songs before even uh, Metallica covered it. Yeah, there's so many. I can't even get into that. All right, so enough about me. <laughs> Yeah, there's some good. It's it's pop. I have my different opinions about modern country, and there's a reason for it. Trust me, it doesn't really have anything to do with it being country or not. It has to do with, you know, filling in the the void and the need of people that are looking to listen to that music. There's nothing wrong with it either, even though I'm not a big fan. Mm-mm-mm. Well, at least I can go home to bed night. No, I didn't let my Fox River boys down. Favorite pa- patriotic song? Uh, what is that one song that Chad loves? Uh, 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 Lee Greenwood. Come on, you guys know what I'm talking about. Ice Cream Man, I used to sing. Uh, I'm not even going to get into that. But, yeah, that's a great song. So, yeah, it's that Lee Greenwood song that's super patriotic. You guys know what I'm talking about. No, I'm not a... Uh, not a big Bruce Springsteen fan. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm just not. Some of his earlier stuff, like what, 10th Avenue Freeze Out, that's, those are some jams. But Actually, here's, here's a, some Mark trivia. The first song I ever danced with a girl to was um, Hungry Heart, and that was at a fishing resort up in northern Wisconsin long time ago yeah everybody uses that song proud to be an american yep you're right and never asked me what my favorite patriotic song is amen Oh, here's a favorite album, Allman Brothers' Greatest Hits. I can't believe I missed that one. Or the band. Now, there's some classic music right there. Pink Floyd, David Gilmore, a, he's a, not only is he a great guitarist, he's got soul to back it up. There you go. <laughs> Proud to be in America. Uh, why am I singing? That's another guy's show. That's not me. I don't sing. <laughs> I did karaoke once in my life. That was enough. <laughs> so did I surprise anybody with my answers? I like Toby Keith, too. Although I heard some stories about how he treated some soldiers back in the day. So I, I don't know. I kind of question him. I kind of don't forget that kind of stuff. 
I'll forget somebody's name, but I won't forget what they do. <laughs> Are you a karaoke queen? <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Yeah, but you see what I mean? Once I start talking about it, and this is fishing. This isn't music. <laughs> Letting too much on. <laughs> a little too far behind the scenes of catfish and crappie. Yeah, we're not going to talk about politics in here. I was at a party yesterday, graduation party. I got a, We had a lot of politics to talk about yesterday. That was enough. You guys can read that and sing. I'm not singing that, Becca. Sorry. She's trying to get me to sing. I like Little Feet, definitely. There's definitely some cool tunes. So today, after I taken a nap, getting ready to come here, uh, now that since we are talking, yeah, fishing and politics don't mix. So, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not ashamed of my age. Consider myself well seasoned. I was looking, you know, because Lollapalooza's here in Chicago, so I was checking that out on YouTube. They had the live shows. I wasn't too impressed. Or like my uh, iTunes or my music library at home on my computer, which I have on a separate drive that I can stream off the house. I got like 38,000 songs on it. So, yeah, I listen. I've listened to a lot of music in my time. You lost the meat, the ball, the meat, the ball. You know, and then, like, we started talking about country. Of course, Sturgill Simpson I mentioned. Uh, and then what's his name? Chris. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Tennessee Whiskey Remake. Chris Stapleton, he's great for a new country as far as it goes. Uh, there's also that other young kid uh, that Sturgill Simpson produced. I forgot his name, but he does a lot of good music. Give me a minute and I'll think about it. No, maybe not. And then there's old stuff, obviously, like Willie, Johnny Cash, um, David Allen Cole. Kind of soft spark my heart for that guy. Even though he can't sing a lick, his music's still pretty cool. All right, you guys got me yapping too much. You guys are just trying to get me to stay here until, uh, absolutely. I haven't heard Chris Luddick, so I'll have to check him out. I'm trying to think, who's the guy who sings that? You're in mine or I'm yours. What the heck is that kid's name? I really like him, though. I can't believe I can't remember his name. It's late. Yeah, but there is good country out there. You just got to go and find it. Charlie Daniels, absolutely. God rest his soul. <laughs> the Skywalker likes that. You think I was a fake dude or something? I act pretty nice over here on YouTube and stuff, but 
just trying to be polite and professional. Nothing wrong with that. Look at the time, time, time. 2.14, okay, 2.30, and we're calling it, guys. Sorry, I'm getting really tired. It'll be half, it'll be 40 minutes before I get this boat out. And then another 45 minutes before I get it home and in the garage. Poor Coco's probably at home with her little paws crossed. Go, Dad, come let me out. <laughs> Porter Wagner Red Sovereign. Yeah, I'm not sure. Don't know what that is. Green Lantern. You seen the green one? One more hour. Look at Skywalker. Oh, that green one's still kicking. Oh, did you guys see the red one? Hello, I'm going to turn off the mic while... Sorry about that, guys. A bike came by with a rock and radio. I didn't want to lose the stream to a strike. Man, it's 2.30 in the morning. That dude's got to be coming home, like, from his girl's house. <laughs> Bars have been closed for two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to take some picture of this. Hey, what's going on, SK? How you doing, bud? Yes, sir. We finally got one on the boat. And uh, everybody's asking me to hang out and try for another one. So we baited back up. We put them back out there. And we're still, we're still going at it. What are you doing up, bud? You're a night owl like us, or are you getting ready to go to work? I don't know if you ever heard me say this, uh, SK, but normally I'll say fishing is work and work is eight hours. And sometimes you got to put in some overtime on top of that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's it's 58 degrees right now, maybe 56. It might have dropped. And we're getting some fish under here. And the water temp is 76 degrees. So that's where that steam's coming from. Looks pretty cool. That's going to make for some cool thumbnails, don't you think, bud? <laughs> I'm going to take a ton of shots. <laughs> How many likes are we at now? How many thumbs up? Ah. Cool. I look forward to it. Hey, Steve, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, now I can see that. Oh, wait, it just rolled off. Hold on a second. Is that like a... Is that a bird or is that a guy sticking its tongue out? It's hard for me to see. <laughs> I'll check out your YouTube channel or your YouTube link, and I'll just look at, and look at the picture. I'll open it up in a second. Right hey, what's going on, Has? Yeah, we got one in the boat. These guys are keeping me... Uh, they want me to stay out here, so we rebaited it up, put it back out there. It wasn't a monster, but it was still a flathead. I was happy to get it. All goes to show, you just got to grind it out, right, bud? To be honest with you guys, these are the kind of nights where I sit here and I'm thinking, you know, this is how you get those big fish. You stay. Mm-hmm. 
Hans, are you going to work already? Or are you just not sleeping? That's what, 320 by you? Thank you guys for the... Yeah, that red one's got a lively bullhead on there. That's what's going on with that. And I am watching it because he's he is like that one's in the mess. Well, this week I'm gonna have to get the power wash out here and hit my boat up inside and out. That's right, SK. You know what time it is. If you ain't out there, you ain't catching them. You ain't finding brush piles. You ain't finding log jams. You ain't finding where they're sleeping, where they're living, where they're eating. Cool. Az has got a new video today. Make sure you check it out. But it is cold out here, SK. I ain't kidding you, because that steam is rolling over to here. I'll show you guys. Watch this. I'll light up my flashlight, right? See, it's rolling over the top of the boat. Well, I'm on top of the boat, so it's been hitting me for a few hours. Here, flatty, flatty. <clears throat> yeah, I've never seen a bite so slow like this. Usually, I'd have a couple on the boat. I put up this much time and this much effort in these spots. I'd have I'd have two in here. I'd have had two in here in four hours easy. Or actually, it'd have been like a lot of waiting, and then it would have been like one after another consecutively. So some something is definitely going on with this weather. Front, it's turning them off. Yeah, you can get dressed up. It's it's the wet and cold that sucks. That's good. And it's August 2nd, buddy. <laughs> I mean, normally it'd be a cool night. Oh, you guys see that green one? They're kicking. Those baits are good baits. Glad I got my work covered for tomorrow. That's good. I do have to be somewhere at 2 o'clock, so that's not too bad. Yeah, but when it's supposed, when it's been, you know, 90 degrees, that's the problem. That constant drop, that's what turns them off. I mean, these flatheads will light up in the fall right before they go to bed. Usually we don't get weather like this until after Labor Day. And it, up here in Chicago, it shuts off Labor Day. Boom. We're getting weather like this, like, right away. Becca's got poetry for Haz, too. Many men go fishing all of their lives without knowing that it is not fish that they are after. What do you know about Henry David Thoreau? Obviously, you know something. I happen to be a big fan. Actually, one of my good friends that I met that's a subscriber, um, Mo Creek Fishing, sent me a first edition Henry Thoreau stamp. Uh, framed, got it framed and everything. Keep it in my office. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. Yeah, Be Becca's been spitting all day, has, with the poetry.
or all night, I should say. All day. See, I'm getting wacky. <laughs> leave me alone, drink pony. Oh, leave me alone, dink. Are you getting lots of dinks, Alicia? longer see now you guys got me wanting this it's coming up on 2 30 i said 2 30 but that's probably not gonna happen those coyotes actually sound like they're over by my truck somewhere <laughs> they make for an interesting exit can't believe there's still 40 people watching that's incredibly cool Yeah, that's the pro you know, SK, I've been wanting to do a crappie live, but the the problem is, and you know this to be true, you're actually probably a heck of a lot better at keeping that boat on point over a brush pile. My problem is the wind here in the Midwest blows me everywhere, and I'm no good in this little light boat at keeping it straight even into the wind. The problem is if you don't have a camera angle that's right, I don't know, maybe we can mount a phone on your head or something, but how do you read chat? Have to get an iPad in addition? For some reason, my my iPhone, as soon as I start up StreamYard, it disconnects my hotspot from my iPad, so I can't even do that. Yeah. Been thinking about the same thing, bud, so I feel your pain. Yep. What somebody needs to come up with is a way to port a uh, GoPro directly into StreamYard. This way you can have a GoPro clamped down whatever, whether it's your head or whatever, and still be able to uh, use your StreamYard normally. So rather, what was that? Heard something that must have been on a bank. Uh, have your StreamYard open, but the actual camera being fed from your GoPro. So like I'm looking at it right now. You know how it works. I'm thinking you use your laptop at home, don't you? Um, it, it, it would show the picture from your uh, head cam off the GoPro, right? And then you'd be able to see chat control stuff like normal. Or even if they ported that in through... Actually, you would just need it on, on YouTube, correct? Because you don't need to have guests and stuff, which is why I do use StreamYard anyway, so... That you weren't using chicken, <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> or was the liver, you're using chicken liver, right? I right, guess I'm not even hearing tail slaps. Skywalker says, all I use is chicken breast. Channel cats love them. It's what I hear. Dinky, dinky, how dare you brother, or how dare you bother. Dinky, dinky, that's quite rude. Not proper. Miss Alicia's sweet, but if y'all don't stop, it's off with your heads. On hooks, kerplunk, bait. Bait's still kicking. What's going on over here?
thought I heard like a garbage truck. 2.30 in the morning? There's one. Did you guys hear that? Oh, game on. That is a flathead. We're going to get another one. Watch, guys. Oh, right before I was thinking about calling it. And that one sounded like a dandy, too. All right. Keep an eye on those rods. Because that was a big one. That's the kind I'm looking for. You did hear that one, Skywalker? See? All right. That got my attention. I think we're going to get it on the red one again. Because that one sounded near the bank. Here, fishy, fishy. I gotta watch the line so he doesn't pick it up and move. Loud and clear cut. <laughs> Guess it was. Right. To, yep. They they love the mornings. They sure do. But I don't know, David. You would know this too. I, what I'm learning is, when I hear that stuff, they're pretty methodical in in the way they 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 go after stuff. They'll hit like, they'll be up the bank, or in a brush pile, and they'll like systematically go long hit 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 i don't know if current has something to do with it or if it's the way their brain works they'll just go through search 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 and they'll search a whole area they'll like grid it off almost which is why i get pretty excited if i hear a if i hear a flathead uh pretty close to where my baits are i'm talking with even 100 feet i'll wait them out an hour and sometimes they'll, they'll i'll hook up with them that way and I'll know it's that same one because the size kind of matches the uh, uh, the sound I heard. You know, the tail slap. You can kind of get a good idea. And that one, that one seemed pretty big. It's whether or not he's heading towards him or away from him is the question. They bite just as good during the day as they do at night. Flathead D2. Flathead, you got to go to them, I'm a believer. But channel cats, they'll feed all day long. Good channel cats. Use current and scent. That's my biggest advice. Something's over here. I'm looking for it. Well, I can't even see the bank. raccoons here we go it's getting thicker out here i'm getting <laughs> one more so up, 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 up. sorry i'm going quiet guys i'm trying to watch this I heard him again. Didn't sound so big this time. But he definitely sounded closer to my bait. I could be full of malarkey. 
full of crap, but See, now it's 2.30 in the morning. I see some idiot in the distance screaming like a banshee. Ten twenty two thirty six hike. Go long. We <laughs> the 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 bait flies through the air. Chomp down again goes flatheads. The crowd goes wild. We'll see what happens. Mm. Yeah, that last one. That's some. But that's some moron out in the distance. Sunday night and they're drinking at two thirty in the morning. It's not a really heavy. It's it's pretty populated area. I'm just in a wooded area. Around here. You seen that red one? That red one's going ape shit. Come on. Call it in. Mike Costello, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I don't know about crackheads. That could be. I don't know. I don't think I've ever met one. Well, I probably have and didn't know it. First couple hours after dark and one hour before daylight. I agree. So witching hour. Here, David, you know, because this is a small river, we can kind of time them. And the times change with the sun phase. Uh, or at the moon phase, I should, or sun, sun up and sun down. It goes up like it changes like a minute every day. Certain, a lot of our bank spots, we got down to where we can get an eight o'clock bite, a twelve o'clock bite, like a, a a two to three o'clock bite, and then there's definitely the daylight bite. I mean, it's almost like clockwork, and it it varies by, you know, minutes as the season goes on. It's really kind of weird. I mean, that's the advantage to having a uh, taking your logs and putting times. Hey, what's going on, Mike? Hey, we got one flathead in the boat. Better than nothing. I thought I was going to get skunked tonight, and it came through. So come to California. I've been to California. <laughs> well, hello, bud. We're going to give it a little while longer. We just heard a big tail slap pretty close, so we'll see if he comes through. Fishing's been rough, man. I'm not going to lie. It's been rough for everybody. I think Big Mike had a hard time, too. He was fishing. I guess he got a. Uh, he didn't do very well. Oh, look at that. The red. You guys seen that red? What I'm seeing? Something's making it go up nuts. And I thought he was hiding under some cover or something. We'll stick it out for a little longer. <laughs> Not a takedown yet, but it'll get there. I hope. If I can squeeze one more out tonight, I'll be a happy man. Even if I'm happy as it is, I'm happy I got the one. I'm happy I got out here. I got happy. I'm happy I got to spend time with everybody here in chat. Had a good time. Hey, we're going to... Five hours and 40 minutes. Air conditioning, man. Mike, it is 58 degrees where I'm at right now. Here, take a look at this. Look, look, I'm just like soaking wet. Can you see the smoke? Or even better yet, here, I'll turn on the light because last time I did it, it didn't scare away the fish. Look at that. Tell me that isn't cool. That'll tell you how cool it is out here. New show, Flathead After Dark, starring the amazing Mr. Mark, featuring Mr. Mark, written by Mr. Mark, produced by, yep, you guessed it, Mr. Mark. <laughs> so basically, it's like my YouTube channel. Pretty much it. 
the one man show. All right, calm down a little bit. Yeah, we are using all live bait tonight too, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I hear it is hot out there. At least you got air conditioning. You're cooling up that way. It's just when it gets damp, it gets kind of hard to deal with, you know? See, there was another little splash there, but that wasn't a flathead. That was something else. Hot down there, too, huh? Hey, what's going on, Ricky? We got one flathead in the boat. Uh, not a monster, but it, it'll work. Uh, 10, 12 pounds, 10 pounds maybe. I don't know, chunky 12. Who knows? But we got one on the boat. We set out to get a flathead in the boat. We did. We're hearing some tail slaps in the distance, so we're uh, waiting it out for a little while longer before we head home. I'm going to sleep like a baby. All right, last call, 20 minutes. Brian P., what's up? <laughs> we got one We got one flathead in the boat, bud. One flathead's a good night on the Fox. You know, three and four flathead nights, they do happen, but it's few and far between. The guys who spend every night on the river, they're the ones that come across those nights. Me, I'm not that lucky, but I'm having fun anyways. Happy to put one on a boat for everybody. What are you doing up? Are you going to work? Or you're a night owl. That's right. We're still at 38 people at 241 on a Monday morning. Bubbler just went out. Hold on, folks. Keep that bait from dying. Sorry about that, folks. Man, this fog is, this steam is getting thicker and thicker. Damn. 
pick me some up. Water swatters, what's going on? The red one? Oh, that's the bait. We'd have known if it was if it was that fish that was swimming that was swimming by here, we would know it. See, I just heard him again. No slack in the line, they're not moving side to side, but wow, it's crazy out here. Crazy. <laughs> no, no, no fish on the red one. Maybe now. Hold on. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's on there. Come on. more time you know why that fish is gonna bite on there right because I gotta go pee oh, all right let's see what's going on in chat here that was definitely a bite eh? I've tried using crayfish for bait I end up getting smallmouth all the time before the cats can even get to it All red. There you go. <laughs> we'll give it some time. There was nothing there. It hadn't taken it either. It ain't over yet. You don't scare them off that easy. What's going on, Jeremy? Yeah, we got one flathead in a boat. Thin blue line bushcraft, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, that hoodie sale's done. What the heck am I hearing here? Glad you guys like it. All right, buddy. Thanks for stopping in, David. We'll see if we can't get on that one before we leave. Just because you missed it don't mean he's gone. <laughs> Everybody knew it. One, one, hi. <laughs> Whew. 
Oh, there it goes again. And somebody I call, I wish I could. I could use a little. <laughs> I haven't touched a hoodie. Neither have I. <laughs> I had to dig this one out of the closet. It's lit, it's 58 degrees here, maybe 56 by now, and it's getting cold. Yeah, there it is again. It's still here. That one didn't sound as big, but that was another tail slap. All right, guys, I need to take a, a nature break, so hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Please amuse yourselves. Good night, Haz. Yeah, it happens, though. <laughs> the number two part. <sighs> Uncle Uncle Steve changed. Uncle Lou changed what? Or Uncle Steve? Yeah, he did. I was trying to figure out what it is. I can't really see it with Streamyard, so. <clears throat> yeah, Becca's always appreciated. She's a heck of a supporter. She's awesome. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. So yeah, I'm starting to crash now, folks. I'm not. I'm in Streamyard. So when I click on it, Uncle Steve, Uncle Steve, let me scroll back up. There we go. It shows it, but I can barely see it.
surprised I'm not getting any out of in the channel either though, tonight. Well, actually, I'm surprised I got the one, to be honest with you guys. This bite is slow tonight. So we had one fish and we got one one other bite. I don't know if I'd call it a takedown. It was pretty damn close. I reeled down on that sucker. Hey, Catfish Chris, what's going on? <laughs> uh, no, they're not glow sticks. They're little LED lights that Brandon from Catfish and Dreams made for me. They're uh, Actually, I have one right here. They're little LED lights in tubes like this see and the, this one changes colors this one's pretty cool but this one wasn't working when i first started i don't know what's going on but now it's working so we'll tie this one to the rod later i'm getting pretty close to getting out of here in a little bit uh, we're coming up by three o'clock it'll be four thirty five o'clock before i get in bed I keep thinking we're going to get that flathead I just missed, but it's probably gone by now. Just wandered on his way. I wouldn't be surprised if that bait's gone because it quit kicking. I didn't want to disrupt it, though, while it was happening. The red light doesn't, it doesn't keep bugs away. It just doesn't attract them as much as, like, a white light would or a green light or any of the other colors. That's why I use red. Red isn't that great. It blows my night fishing out. So uh, I will uh, turn on the overhead light while I'm cleaning up and stuff and turn the red light off. Hopefully my eyes will adjust. I don't have that much far to go. Two thousand percent. I don't have enough decimal points to move to the left to count with that many fingers and toes to know how much that is. I am so confused. Are you okay, Becca? <laughs> Paul Frick, what's going on? Yes, absolutely, Paul. Paul asked, will a flathead catfish carry a bait off and drop it? I fish, uh, the, I fish in the boat ramp this past weekend had happened twice they will absolutely do that also was the bait like chewed on if it was it could be a turtle too that does that but flathead will carry a bait across all your lines and really make a mess which is why you want to crank down on him when you're pretty sure he has it in its mouth the witching hour has arrived Getting pretty close to the quit now, our fellas and lady, ladies. I think Alicia's still out there, and there's 48 in here. Holy smokes! Well, we 
humidity here is a little different. It's more like mist. Excuse me. Uh, Alicia's still here. There you are. How's the fish in your way? <laughs> the fish are? Oh, man, I'm too old for that rock star stuff. I'm not big on energy drinks. I'll drink the heck out of some coffee, but it's that toluene or whatever the heck they put in there. Taurine. That stuff makes me all jittery and uncomfortable. <laughs> Becca needs some sleep. She doesn't sleep enough. Oh. I mean that in a kind and caring way. <laughs> At least you got a bait sized bluegill, but I think I'll let it be his lucky day. I never really have much luck catching bluegill at night. <laughs> I know a lot of guys who love that stuff. I just can't handle it. Caffeine's usually not a problem. I quit drinking diet uh, Mountain Dew a long time ago. That stuff was messing with me, too. No, I still drink a Diet Coke and coffee and water. That's about it. Susquehanna Stan, what state am I fishing in? I am fishing in Illinois on the Fox River. Just north uh, on the north end, northwest of Chicago, like 40 miles. Uh, you ever see my buddy Corey over there on the Susquehanna? He's a good dude. He's a flathead slayer. I'm not going to read that. Mm, green sunfish. I love green sunfish. Hey, Eric. Yeah, Chicago, Illinois is in the house. Yeah, we're getting all sorts of new people that haven't been in here yet this time of night. We're at 46 still. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate you subscribe, ring that bell, hit the thumbs up. Be cool. We got one flathead in the boat. We just missed another bite. We're going to give it a few more minutes. It's not this cold every night, water swatters. It really isn't. This is going to be an exceptional week up here. We need, we need like, we need five more degrees of water temp for it to be normal up here. I mean, this river cools and heats up really quick. Because it's so shallow. Ricky is worried about you, Becca. It says you need some sleep. Sleep can't hurt you. All it does is rejuvenate you.
cool. He's a good dude. <laughs> t-shirt and shorts, man. I'd have been done in hours ago if that's all I had on our t-shirt and shorts. Lori Salisbury, good morning. Good morning. All I found good fishing spot. Oh, hold on. Good morning, all. I found good fishing spots on the Canadian River here in Oklahoma yesterday. Uh, I caught a couple of nice eaters uh, in 30 minutes on night crawlers. Uh, them, them catfish, them channel cats love night crawlers. Meatball. What is that noise? Keeps sounding like I got something in a live well. That was a flathead. That was a big one. Right here in the channel. Holy Toledo. Did you guys hear that kerplunk? <laughs> God, son of a gun. <laughs> that was literally 10 yards from my boat, 12 yards. That was, a, I don't know if that was a flathead. That was a kerplunk, not a tail slat. So, Steve heard it. <laughs> uh. All right, we are starting the, oh, it's already 3 o'clock. We're starting the eight-minute countdown. We'll stay till 3.15. Ah, <laughs> oh, so you're a... Uh, off road to get to your fishing spot. Those are the best fishing spots, Lori. Well, congratulations on getting the fish. That's awesome. I'm using live bait today, Stan. Nothing but live bait. Give you guys another look at where I'm fishing. Let's try leaving that light on, see what happens for a little while. That green one just shook a little bit. That is pretty cool, ain't it? Eerie is right. Daniel's sleeping. Yeah, he is. Sorry, folks, I didn't fall asleep.
They're closing in. Stay tuned. <laughs> Seems like a lot of times in my life, bait brings them in. Uh, then they crush the cut bait. Hmm, could be. I had a cut bait out there for a little while. I actually cut bait. It was a uh, courtesy of Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Turtle. <laughs> My go-to live bait, man, I, I use so many. It's one I can catch pretty much. Lately, it's been bluegills. I had my buddy Jose drop off some some bullheads for me. They're they're good for flathead fishing. I really like blueheads a lot. If I can find live shad, even better. Right. The only problem is channel cats will destroy them. I mean, there's probably a ton of channel cats here. They just don't mess with bullheads, which is why I like them. I wasn't looking for channel cats today, so bullheads are the ticket. In the spring, I like using like the candy bar type baits, like suckers and and chubs. Oh, excuse me, <clears throat> suckers and chubs and stuff. A bluegill's always good. Shad. Green sunfish is a big favorite of mine. And bullheads. That's pretty much what I use. That was answering that question for people watching after the fact. Bullheads are definitely great. What's up, real fishing? How you doing? That's what I'm using tonight. Juju. Come on. Really? I get what you're doing, but come on. But can somebody please take care of Juju for me? Here, I think I can do it from here. Let me try this. We'll put him in a timeout. There we go. Skipjack is good, but we have no skipjack here. Yeah, we blocked Juju. Sorry, Juju. Just hanging out, guy. <laughs> I mean, whatever you say, it's not like going to shock us or anything. It's not even that you. What's funny is that you actually come in here thinking you're going to shock a bunch of people. That's the funny part. Mm. Hey, Steve, I can make you a mod, just not from here. Next time I'm in there, I'll make you one. If you come watch the live show tomorrow, I can do it a lot easier from there when I got two monitors running. I appreciate the offer. Yeah, I just don't bother making too many. I usually got a bunch of mods in here anyway, so if you guys want to be mods, I'll make you mods. I just can't do it right now. We'll do it tomorrow. You guys really enjoy being mods and stuff? I've been mods a lot of shows. The ones that don't... Wait, turn that off. There we go. The ones I'm not a mod in, it's almost like a vacation. <laughs> yeah, it was uncalled for, but... It is what it is. I appreciate the offer. I mean, really, were you guys kind of, like, shocked? <laughs> There you go, water sliders. You need to be modified with some sleep, Becca. Uh, all right, guys. I think I'm going to start packing it up. It's three in a minute. Hold on one second. Hold on. I'm freezing cold. I remember you guys tomorrow. Come into the the show and I'll hit you up. I can't guarantee that I'll remember enough to look up your channels and 
and add them to the list. I can do it that way. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to go home. I'm going to bed. I got a meeting at two o'clock. And after that, I need to get some stuff done. So uh, uh, if you pop into the show tomorrow night, I'll try to remember to make you guys mods. I appreciate every one of you. I was going to pull Becca up here with me. Um, I asked her, and I think she was assuming that I was going to send her an invite regardless. I wasn't sure if she actually even wanted to come up. So there was kind of a misunderstanding, and that was like two hours ago because I was planning on leaving. We started getting a couple of hits, and here we are, six hours and 17 minutes into the stream. Good night, Kenneth. Thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoy the stream. Thank you, KY Catfish Chris. All I do is come up here and talk fishing. <laughs> Pretty much. And shoot the bull with you guys. Oh, this is the part. How about you guys? This is the part I don't like. Calling it of the night. Having to put everything away, clean everything up. Becca, are you going to sleep after this? Tell me you're going to sleep after this. Yeah, I'm going to finish what I'm doing right here, and then we're going. that bad case of the five more minutes you know what i mean steve i got it as bad as anybody you know what's better than putting one flathead in the boat putting two flatheads in the boat there's still 41 people in here cool Lori. i appreciate it Oh, yeah. Sorry to keep you on here. Holy smoke, that's in play. <laughs> All right, folks, we just made the. Uh, wait, six hour and. We're getting this six hour, 20 minutes. My OCD's kicking in. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I'm glad I was able to show you guys a fish. Wish it had been more. Sorry I missed that other one. There's better luck next time. Bless all of you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Becca, get some sleep. Please. Thank you. All right, guys, have a great night. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to clean up and go put that boat or get this boat on a trailer and head out of here. All right, peace. Thanks, guys. Bye.